two sons had it. Wife did that. You know, yeah. But amazing being around him, you think I would have got. From the heart of Chicago, up to the North Shore, and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee. From urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits. Okay, coach. Yeah, we're live. We're, here we are. Here we are at Knollwood. Knollwood. Knollwood Club? Knollwood Country Club? Golf Where Club. I think it's Golf Knollwood Club. Golf Club. It's Golf Club, coach. Yeah. yeah. I was corrected three times. I, I can learn. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I can learn. What's this cap on my head? Anyway, it's incredible. I, I'm sorry, man. Could be but anyway, it's a, it's a beautiful night for paddle instead. if you like paddle weather because it is 20, maybe 20 degrees. 20 degrees in flurries here flurries. at Knollwood Golf Club. Yes. Although Knollwood Paddle Club during the winter at that's this right. point. And so let's be specific about it. Uh, that's Coach Matt McClure. I'm, I'm uh, Sean Albrecht, and uh, a special guest today. A oh, special guest today. It's got to be uh, Ben McKnight. Ben, are you on here? Let me, let me make sure we pod you up. Hold on, hold here. on. Thank you. It should be. There you go. You can you can get right up on there get so right you can eat it. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Can I get? I don't know if I'm getting him in there. That's right. That's right. Our first ever production. And uh, as Cal goes out to fix one of the cameras, it's apparently only gotten worse. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, we certainly appreciate it. It's always nice to have, uh, you know, uh, some expert analysis uh, on the court. Not sure expert, but uh, I've watched a lot of you, paddle. You definitely life. qualify, Coach. There's no question about it. Well, yeah. Done, yeah, I'll give you the honorary doctorate right now. <laughs> it's not, I have no problem with that. Well, we got a really good match tonight. Um, looking forward to it. This is uh, Series 3. We got Life Sport versus... The Wood Golf Club and Life Sport, a new program in Chicago area, right? I believe so. Yeah, yes. just put in some courts, uh, kind of at the beginning of this season, I think, is when they uh, went live, sort of. Yeah, they uh, did a great job hiring Ben Ashford, who uh, is well known in the area, and he was able to grow a program almost immediately. Immediately, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So he's out here, I'm sure, competing tonight somewhere, but. Tonight for Life Sport, we got Danny Oaks and Vuk Tefanovic. So I'm glad you did that one. In my benevolent announcing, I was going to allow you uh, to make a shot at uh, pronouncing Vuk. Um, so I'm glad that you did that. And then for uh, Knollwood here, we have John Noble here in the red. And then uh, uh, Mike. Uh, I'm blanking on Mike's last name. Oh, this is Brad Smith. Oh, this is Brad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I saw Mike and I assumed that he was. Oh, they're dressed like twins. <laughs> Look at them over there on court two. Yeah. Sorry, I blew it. That's that's all right, Coach. I yes, yeah, so I would have called him Edward. I was looking at the back of his head, going, yeah. "That doesn't look like Mike," but I just saw him a minute ago. It was more like Edward Scissorhands, really. What okay. I was going with that. <laughs> that's fine too. Not that he looks like oh, Edward yeah. Scissorhands. Now he that he does. turns around, you can clearly tell that that's Brad Smith. <laughs> as soon as he hit a forehand, I would have been able to tell the yeah. difference. Isn't he the director here? Mike Shabriah was who I was thinking oh, of. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, a, that's another. Now, when he goes back, back and watches the broadcast, he's going to be like, hey, I forgot my name, that jerk. <laughs> Either that or people go, Mike Shabriah was on the broadcast. <laughs> Mike Shabriah <laughs> played great. <laughs> His game was unrecognizable. <laughs> that's where he plays just like Brad Smith. It's yeah, it's un incredible. <laughs> Taking all the lessons from Brad. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, so this should be a fun one. All four guys out here like to hit the big shots, and uh, Brad in particular, who I've had the opportunity to be on the court with a lot, is not going to dial it back under any circumstances. It's just not his game to do less with the ball. So <laughs> we're gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be some awesomeness. Yeah, Brad has a really, really good forehand. 
it's impressive how much speed he can generate with the racket with a, a short motion. Um, you don't get to see that very often, and it's hard to really read. Yep. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, Vu and Danny can pick up on that early because it's just something you don't see that often. Yeah, and uh, John definitely uh, is a monster at the net and can put plenty of spin on the ball. And has a great drop shot. Really? As well. Yeah, kind of yeah. just kind of sneaky where he moves real quickly and you would ex expect the ball to kind of explode off his paddle and then all of a sudden it has bounced twice before you're paying attention. John, a former Illinois State champion. and uh, Really? What? <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever get one in tennis? Logarithms. <laughs> I think so, yeah. yeah. He's a pretty yeah. good but tennis player from what I understand. But yeah. also he got one in paddle and... Uh -huh. As many people on the listening to the broadcast know, he's uh, one of the directors for the CPTC, and we thank him for his support. Yeah, hugely involved in the world of paddle. For sure. All the stuff that is organized well and running smooth and tournaments and all that stuff has a lot to do with Ben sitting next to me here and John Noble. So. Well, it's yeah, good to kudos have kudos to you guys. John, get out there on the court. You know, it's been a <laughs> yeah. while since he's been on a stream match. So. He, He's due. I, I think we're going to see uh, his A game today. I'm going to mention yeah, it again, Coach. To it. I love the lighting here, man. Yeah, it's pretty great, it's isn't awesome. it? Yeah, the LEDs yeah, awesome. are really uh, sweeping the nation at this point. You know, it's funny because uh, we talked about it briefly, but my guys at um, Lakeshore really enjoy kind of the older style halogen yeah, we bulbs that are just not that, quite yeah. as bright, and they kind of enjoy that. We're Except talking about the light, but we're talking about the bulbs that are not as bright. We didn't. Yeah, <laughs> <they're> <laughs> not <as> bright. those <laughs> yeah. guys aren't as bright. It, sounded, um, it just didn't sound. No, right the, the lights. Yeah, okay. Right. But then I occasionally get a call that's like, "Hey, what's up with the lights on court one? The breaker popped." And I'm like, "I'm sure it's fine, but you're going to have to wait 15 minutes 15 now for <laughs> for something to happen." Grab a beer. So. Yeah. Two more times of that, and I'm sure we'll be due for an upgrade. Oh, I'm, sure it. I'm sure we'll find that in the budget, no problem, <laughs> after a couple of inconveniences. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're toying around with a couple of different uh, camera angles and lenses tonight as we get uh, kind of kind of uh, make some adjustments here to the stream. So one is this uh, camera in the center. We're going to see if we can kind of capture a little bit of an angle at a, a lower spot instead of going over the top beam. And uh, we're going to try to cut out some of the screen vibration as we get into the match a little bit. I'm going to kind of carve down the, the camera angle in OBS. So Your executive production, just uh, it, creativity knows no bounds. I just that. like to let the people know what's going on. It's you just know? unbelievable. If nothing well, else, we can view this as a, you know, it can end up being a troubleshooting series of videos for right, <laughs> anyone I'm, doing I'm production on the Internet. Yes, very avant-garde, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right. Oh, oh. Well, Vuk's going to start to serve here, so the match is about to start. All right, here we go. We got Cal Noble uh, keeping track of the score for us, so if uh, chat needs to wake him up, you go right ahead. I know, Cal, because there's a certain uh, familial uh, connection here, no messing with the score. Yeah, just because you're John's nephew, you don't get to, you know, that's a big start. Yeah. Boy, what yep. nice. That's good hands. Really nice blitz, though. Yeah. It's a shame you missed that. That was a... Yeah, nice you will move. you will see plenty of that. No fear of the net from these guys. Great first volley there with forehand. It's a nice lob. Skywalking with the lob. Oh, oh. Baited him into that high backhand volley. And don't we all go for that every so often? I don't care if it's low percentage. It just feels so good. He's there. Yeah, Coach, these guys are moving way too well. I'm sorry. There's that drop shot you were talking about. Back. Yeah. John went. Real hard into the corner with the same sort of That's motion. Very, and the yeah, second he finished it up with that. the same just quick little cross. That, talk about creativity, Ben. Yeah. That was awesome. What yeah. a return. The deception sets it up, too. Sure. There very we see that Brad Smith forehand just pounded that ball. That was big. See? 
Vuk and Danny are just trying to feel it out where they can get their reset overheads, where's safe on the court right now, trying to figure out. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of safe spots versus team right now. I like that. Yeah. This one-hander, a lot of variety in Brad Smith there because usually that screen drive, he showed him a two-hander and then all of a sudden he okay. wound up with a one-hander and ended up driving it. So really impressive. All right, one nothing, Knollwood Club. It's a nice drive. So Vuk really excels when he gets that short ball in the middle. He can take that forehand from a low position. Sure. And he, he loves to attack behind it. So uh, we'll see if Brad and John can get that volley a little deeper. All right, sorry, we were getting the scoreboard uh, up and running in the correct location. Where we, Who took that first game? Uh, that was... Uh, Nolwood. Yeah. Nolwood took that first one. Yep. And that was first point? It's fi it's 15.30. 15.30? Okay, great. We're just going to blame it on Thank Cal, you. Cal getting creative with the score. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Checks in the mail, Cal. Brad got him with the body serve there. I don't think Fook was expecting that one. Got the wall. Wall. They're going high here. Already. That's oh, yeah, good. John read that there. well. And then... He really had it dialed in. Might have almost turned out too perfect, so right exactly where he wanted it. This is an interesting one in the world of paddle right now because of the depth of the Chicago leagues. This could so easily be a Series 1 match. Uh, I agree. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just you're really, really splitting hairs. I know all these guys have played Series 1. They probably also play Series 1. And, sure. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's just... These are all, this is a series one match for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. nice cut. That oh, is yeah. a oh. lot of action to put on a ball at this temperature. That was impressive. From the brattle snake. I would love to see that one in slow mo. Oh. Mm. Let cord disguise. action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> disguise on the let cord day. Going back it's to that Brad Mark. Smith cutter, that thing jumped back three feet. I mean, mm -hmm. that was, was massive. For There's another. He's there. It's going to work. It's a great scramble. It was. Yeah. I mean, Luke is a world-class athlete. Played uh, number one tennis at Marquette for four years. I mean, he's he's the real deal. You said? Oh. As you were discussing earlier, that guy that has so many options. <laughs> that, you know, almost the, the hardest part of his game is deciding what to hit that's at any true. given moment. That's true. I wonder what that's like. Yeah, I don't have that problem either. <laughs> yeah. What I like to do is only have one option and still miss it. So, you know, it's all right. There's opportunity there. Another big ball from Brad. Oh, yeah. Nice dig. I don't know if we're getting the, the spray of snow. Great lob. Well, back of the line. Oh. On the camera. Oh. <laughs> He tries. Yeah. I don't I, think. I got to respect him for just attempting yeah, it, though. I was going to say, Coach, <laughs> again, creativity abounding. The fadeaway on the knee overhead oh, slash. That's just massive. <laughs> that was just massive. Good so, kick save there by, though, Brad. Yeah. That would As not be a goal in the NHL. It's not a break if you don't hold. Vuk uh, <laughs> so a really, really clean ball. You can see it. That last return, it uh, reminds me of Automotics. It's a nice, smooth swing, but it's the ball just jumps off the paddle. It has a little different sound than most people. Oh, yeah. Squeaks. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a nice lob. Sweet lob. Oh. Well disguised. Uh oh Lack of communication. I'm sure these guys play together more often than that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think they both were questioning whether the lob was in or out. <laughs> That's a good point, Coach. John always had that nice, compact two-hander oh, yeah. as well, you know. Beautiful shot from the middle. Yep. He mixes up the targets really well. He, does he uh, w always uh, fun to, you know, w when he can pull a ball towards different spots. He might hit an in inside-out two-hander, you know, as good as anybody. I agree. You know? looks I mean, way. it just... The when he sets up for it, you would expect it to be coming right at you down the line, and he's just I able just to direct it, it in different directions. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really Looks that way. It's a, it's a good shot. Surprising amount of top on the ball too. Such a oh, he's there. Yeah. Oh. Got a highlight reel around shot the 
right Yeah, we'll away. put that. We'll put that on the list. Absolutely, that's a good ball. He made that look easy. Most of the time, the round of post shots look strained, but oh, yeah, no, he was he was there one. and he has Beautiful. balance. Yeah. So, want the drone cam for that last one just to get on? Yeah. The worm burner cam. So we got Danny and Vuk switch sides here. We'll see. Mm, tough side look. To stay. And Vuk got a good look. I mean, that's his shot, so he'll keep hitting that one. It's a shame we don't have any shot makers out there. Uh, <laughs> no, geez. it's hard to keep Everybody up with the action. There. People are really this swinging. Is, this is awesome. Yeah. We get some Lakeshore members watching this. We'll probably uh, have some answering to do later. Coach. Yeah. Seems like uh, why aren't we aren't teaching the big Luke time shots? Danny or, uh, <laughs> they're trying to they're keeping it away from Brad. They, they yeah. Are. You know, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, you I kind of hit some great shots early. Another. Yeah. Speaking of which, I'm, I'm telling you, I hope we're getting that on camera. There's that the nice flurries. Missed. Yeah, no, we're we're definitely have a great angle of that. Although that's a bad time for that in that yeah, service right, game yeah. to have to deal with the flurry in your face. But yeah, Mother Nature disturbed his rhythm. Despite the fact uh, how that game went, that was a, I really liked that service game from Life Sport. They were going after it. They were making good volleys. Yes, I agree. First right. two balls. Got John serving 2-1. Great lob. Now at 2-1, we will see a slightly more patient. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, what a backhand. Well, yeah, not. that's and a great ball. Not. No, that was he, he that waited was. for the right one. No, you're I right, mean, yeah. if, you can, if you can step into that high one off the side screen and that's what your backhand looks like, right. I guess you might as well. That's that's the swing. I want to say, uh, and I'm, I'm just going to just mention it, Brad, it's got to be impressive. He's got the peds on. There are no <laughs> socks <laughs> on those shoes. That's, that's impressive. That's right. I mean, it's, it's 17 degrees with the windshield out there, and that guy, he's got peds on. That's Brad likes the low sock, and he, you know, he does impressive. a lot of things that improve speed. The Marty Fish of the Yeah, game. so, you know, That's he awesome. goes, he goes, wow, great shot. I know. That's a smart shot, too. Now we're playing pickleball. smart. Pickle. It's yeah. a good move. Really great point there from Book. Yeah. Good Took kitchen quick management backhand there. backhand and then finished with the forehand. Didn't overhit it. Just touched it back, Too took the net, got him with the next shot. Yeah, That's and right. you could tell by the way he closed that once he took that distance from the net, he was just very confident yeah. staying. That won, that won the point. For, I mean, it won the game for him, I think. Yeah, for just sure. That it's well played. On that one. It's a nice Great shot. shot, Brad. Wow. And followed deck. it up with a what? heavy overhead. And once again, just gonna just admire him for trying to take that off the deck. I mean, seems most, like Brad, most humans. Brad's in the mood today. He's, uh, he's <laughs> apparently he's, he's, he's ready. Yeah. He came ready. Yeah, I love it. He was out here doing a playing lesson for a couple hours while we were setting up, and he wasn't allowed to hit any of these shots. So I could see where, <laughs> you know, he would be excited to take the safeties off. Great pick out yeah. of the. And when Nick we say he well. wasn't allowed to, that actually is a rule. It's not like the members there <laughs> weren't good enough for him to hit these shots. Just yep. it's a rule he can't do it. It's not he's not allowed. So just so you know, it's not like anybody's not good enough to handle it. Just want to make sure we're covering all the bases there, Coach. Look at that. Flick a little flick of the wrist. Nice volley. Nice dig. Tough dig that. by John. That's just talent. Yep. You can't teach that. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. You can tell with every setup of an overhead that Vuk is making a decision. Yes. Yeah. Right? Like you can watch him physically start to, you know, he's got options, and then he's going to – he's Do I cut it? Great shot. Do I roll it? Yeah. Spin it. That's a good lob. An excellent oh, backhand volley. Oh, that is volley. tough. Okay. All right. 
Hey, you can see the tennis in that movement. No question. Mm -hmm. He stepped into that ball. Mm -hmm. Which we tell people not necessarily to do. Maybe unbelievable dig. Wow, what a great pick. Yeah, the rules of volleying seem to be changing constantly. <laughs> That's a good point, how many, man. How many people are going to a, a very effective forehand volley where, you know, we've been told so many years, decades ago, only look backhand. But at this level, I think, for some reason, these tennis players come in and these forehand volleys are just very offensive. Yeah. I think I've been teaching that the same way for a long time is that I, I try to tell students that it's nothing personal, but a lot of that is based on talent. Like, if yeah. you feel like there is any chance that somebody could hit a ball that would hit you in the face, you better stay with your backhand volley. Right. <laughs> That's the one that protects the moneymaker. Unless you enjoy that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, that's uh, up to the individual. But the if, way, you, everybody if you have the ability to flip and hit some forehands, exactly. then it's going to be I part totally of your agree. game. By the way, everybody we teach is talented enough, Coach. Just I want to make sure we say that, too. I'm not talented enough, Sean. Well, we're not. Do we teach each other? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> you know how we get out there for five to seven hours a week and just drill. <laughs> All right, well, that was a big... Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Big game for Lightsport to take the 3-2 lead here. Let's see it if was. Uh, no look to answer. Oh, what a move. Really good play. Oh, oh nice. Oh, way to put, turn it into play. lemonade. That's, a pr that's oh, yeah. really impressive. It's my first time watching Danny Oaks play, and I'm really impressed with his athleticism and fluidity. He really moves for a tall guy. Yeah. I totally agree. It's uh, also one of those elements that you uh, start to see where guys get comfortable on the court the longer they play, where uh, even though he was moving fast during that point, he didn't look pressured at all. Right. <laughs> like that ball, you know, zipped past him a couple of times, and at no point did he look nervous. It's yeah. a great roller That's for Brad Smith. Ball. Buried in the corner. Yeah, that has did not become come up a for new air. offensive weapon, that snap forehand. Roller? roller that just oh, yeah. dies into that side screen. Um, it's really an impressive shot. You see it more and more at the national level. Um, of course, it just requires so much spin is to be able to bury yeah, it that way. Yeah, you, ha you have to hit have, it so thin. Yeah, it's uh, oh, that's a nice waterfall. Almost a little warmer. That thing's coming down. I like the way they went to the eye there against. Uh, oh, you read down. it early. You did. Yeah. I think John will be thinking twice about hitting that overhead again. Yeah, it might, it might be something that he starts <laughs> to stay away from a little bit. There, there is something to that, right, where you just show, like, hey, uh, you can't be hitting that it's all day long. I'm going to take Dan it away. Oaks. Yeah. And it gets in the opponent's head mm -hmm. when they're hitting and it causes a little anxiety. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, you kind of got to pull the trigger on, on some of those shots just to maybe send the message that you're not going to just let somebody bury that ball all the time. So life sport really uh, gained some control here as they their, their lob just Boy. got it all of a sudden a little bit better, and now they're in every point. Yep, they're bouncing around. They're feeling it. All right, four two here for life sport with Danny serving. I love it. Forehand yeah. volley, forehand volley, yep. forehand volley. Ooh. Oh, you knew it. That Showtime. Was, that you was dirty. You knew it as soon as that thing floated. That yep. was impressive, though. Yeah. I mean, how often do you see that from a second-year player? I mean. <laughs> that is amazing. It, you, it, that does not come up very often. <laughs> no. Actually, we talked about it before the stream started. Uh, maybe uh, Marek Czerwinski. Um, was the last guy that I remember that had, like, that level of talent where he came on the court and not, like, every match, but, like, every game, he got better. Yes. <laughs> like, every single game, he's, like, adding something to his arsenal. Yeah. That was a great, <laughs> another great, I guess you could call that a roller right there. Yeah. Just Brad, that thing just died in the corner there. Yep. Dan almost got just it back, too. Yeah, great velocity. shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, good Get pick. Oh. Uh, Luke's feeling it. Went right in the body. Mm -hmm. it, you know, take it right at the guy with the spin. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great uh, tip for folks playing at home. You're going to hit it hard. Not a bad target right yeah. at the player. Totally agree. Set. Almost. And that's tough. 
You know, you can see this a little bit right now in John's game, how comfortable he normally is attacking off of Brad's shots. And these guys are coming up with some great volleys. Oh, yeah. And it's just kind of – that's a really good spot yeah, there. Exactly, make him reach for it. Yeah. Probably the first one he missed, to be honest with you. It's good communication here. Right. Brad's got Bad a in. This is a big game. Here. Yep. Got a chance to go up 5-2 or back to deuce. That's a good lob. Oh, yeah. Great reset there, Danny. Mm -hmm. Just pushed it deep, didn't do anything crazy. But he put it back in front of his partner, so Brad did drive. Vuk's there to volley it, right? The other thing, you know, they're putting some pace on their overheads every so often because the snow is coming down off of the top beam. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. It's a good read by John to defend that corner and look for that. Get over. That's a great shot. Nice shot. There you go. See, yep. that strike zone for John, as tall as he is, most people, that's an overhead. It seemed like Brad slowed down a little there. Uh, mm -hmm. and he rolled a couple forehands in instead of hitting laser beams and made him hit a couple more shots. Well, he was, was he going for a tossman lot? <laughs> we refer to that as the uh, announcer's jinx right yeah, there. Rare, when rare, you rare. compliment a player and then yeah. immediately, <laughs> immediately something bad happens. Well, he got it back. So, yep. Courtesy of Dan, I'm sure back he's not to happy deuce. with that. He'd like that serve back. Yeah, they're starting to they're starting to dial in the the lob locations here, and give them a little bit less oh. to work with. In tennis, they call that the Bucharest backlash, <laughs> coach. It's <laughs> yeah, old school, right there. Some comment there that it's not 60 degrees. Right? Yeah, what he's right. trying to do is hit that spin and compress the ball. Yeah. Right. You know, and it's not compressing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's too it's too cold. And you just have to give up that right. cut shot. That was why I was saying in that second game when he made that, that cutter move back three feet, I was like, that's tough to do when it's this cold because that ball really <laughs> moved a ton. Yeah, that was impressive you know. there. Yeah, it's, it's tough to put that level of spin on the ball when you're dealing with 20-degree with temperatures. All right, you've got John serving to stay in the set here. Here we go. Uh, definite momentum change. See if they can pull out of it. Good fall. That's a nice waterfall. Wow. Oh, <laughs> got a little amped up maybe in that point. Yeah, Luke was on a heat check right there. Yeah. I suppose if you're, what are we, at 5-2? I don't here? know if he's ever seen Bill Fiedler, but he would try to Bill Fiedler there. Yeah, a little bit, that's right. The overhead. Yeah. yeah, kind of the, the, the shifting line. overhead down the line in motion. Yeah. That was, just that was just a great uh, reflex backhand. What would we even call that on the rise there? He just took that almost a half volley. But, you know, it's impressive. Was, Swung at it. Bill would make that shot 90% of the time. Yeah, it was a fascinating one, too, because it always felt like it was somehow nice good shot, shot, John. John. Good shot, John. How about that action? He made the ball compress yeah. there. Yeah, totally. yeah, he did. Woo. Caught it thin enough and from high enough above the net just where it wasn't a really risk. Impressive. Just gives yeah. you an idea at this level. You float a ball at that particular juncture. That's going to happen more often than not. What there it is again. Yeah. Brad wow. is just. That, that's the shot that I wish I had. That is just, I love that shot. It almost seems like that shot needs a name. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we should workshop something. I guess we should ask Brad after this what he's calling it. He's going to be oh, like, it's just a really good roller. <laughs> the first neck. Well, we can see that from that angle. He was definitely aiming for that shot. Good play. I vote we ask Mike Marino. 
Uh, all right, three. Uh, <laughs> to come up with the name. With, yeah. yeah. Great hold so by creative. John Noble there. So yeah. yeah. So they're still in yeah. here. John in it. Yeah. Served John a little bit deep. Served a little long. Yeah. That was in there. Yeah, tough. That caught the back edge there. Nice drive. He's there. Crazy. No. <laughs> you know, he didn't miss that by much. That's the yeah, kind of. Read it, read it early know, yeah. and uh, and was on it. Felt like there was a little, enough time to make that decision at least. He's there. Good pick. Good cover, good cover. Yep. I think if he sees that on video, he'll realize he's Again? just a little oh. too far off the net to try that. You, you hit that shot, you really yeah. get, you know, right on the net. Yeah. Which is, uh, I always remembered that being kind of a tough transition from paddle to tennis is that, like, your court sense is a little bit oh, off nice at the beginning because in the world of tennis, kind of like, that's crazy close to the net. Like, yes. why would you not hit a drop shot, you know, yep. uh, w if you could reach out and touch the net with your racket like you're right there? And in paddle, it's just not the same thing. We set point here, Coach? Yeah, set point. Set point, Vuk, opportunity. Vuk, 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 the third, right in the back of the line. Nice. Little back. Out. It was. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. close. Little back. Close, but no Tipperello, as they used to say in the 40s. Right, Cal? That's when I was a, a young lad. <laughs> <laughs> in there. Skywalk. Yeah, putting some height on it, it right now. Love it. A little trying to neutralize some of the offense. Mm, that's Good a great shot. spot. That was it just down the line, nothing too fancy. Just mm -hmm. put a little pressure on you, make you force the volley, and get gets the error. Yeah. Sorry. It's one of the interesting things that you see more uh, when you're able to watch as opposed to be on the court. But the change in speed, you know, Brad hitting that softer yes. is what caused the error. He was totally way out in front of the volley, and he it got there later than he thought, and he, like, pushed up to the ball, and it drifted long. It's another great shot by Brad. He really has that on lock right now. I don't he think does. he's missed one backhand no. out of the screen. Great lob to set that up. Mm-hmm. That's a really good point about the changing of the speeds. And uh, another great place you could people can utilize that is on the serve, right? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It does it not. Another one. Yeah, like great a, pick. A double a nick. Like a Kyle Hendricks type pitcher where you just. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't, I, I think it doesn't get utilized enough, to be perfectly honest, is that, you know, somebody gets kind of in their groove and they're putting a lot of action on the ball and you forget that if you just kind of take something off of one, Change it totally up. messes with yep. the rhythm of a returner. And you can I mean, you can watch every time. You can see somebody dump a ball in the bottom of the net, like, what was that? Exactly. You know, that's Change not what up. we had been doing for the last three games. Okay, so no Staying alive, Nolwood. Exactly. I love it. They played a really good game there, Brad Smith especially, that down the line backhand flick or really kind of set up about three points there. Got a little momentum too here. Oh, great return! It's a tough ball. Just long. Boy, you're right, Ben. He hits a clean ball. That, that's just singing off the middle of that paddle. It's in there. This is fascinating, actually, because I don't know uh, what you think, Ben, but I can't identify a change that John and Brad made in order to get back in this set other than made a few less errors and maybe life sport cooled off just a little bit. Like, all of a sudden, they miss a return, you know, they miss one lob long, you know, and, all, and we're, like, right back in a tight match. Totally agree. 
Well, it's funny when you don't have a, a, a point to play with, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you got a little bit of a cushion, you can get away with certain things, but serving for it or receiving for it yeah. makes a big difference. You kind of have to yeah. be prepared for that, and I think they just notched it up a little bit. Yeah, but in your brain, that set was almost over, right? Yes, it was yes. it was 5-2 life sport 30-15, and then all of a sudden, a here we are. <laughs> exactly. Nice hands. That was, that was awesome. Yep. Well, you know, these guys are just all going after it, right? Yeah. So it's, you know, there's not a lot of strategy no. here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a thin margin. Yeah, just, yeah. They're just bringing it, and, you know, the, everyone's trying to cut overheads, mm -hmm. hit hard rollers, and it's fun to watch. It's the video effect is what it is. <laughs> you, gotta, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. on the little extra screen. adrenaline. Yep, exactly. By the way, when I was, Great dig. When I was uh, rooting for that shot that John hit to go in, I wasn't necessarily rooting. For one team or the other, I just like to see fabulous. No, no, coach. this is this is uh, definitely one of those matches where like it could go either way, and you just like oh, to see everybody play well. That's, Gosh, that's such a laser beam. That is just he's yeah, he set up so well for the thing. Uh, good point, Sean. He really did move well to get in front of that one. Didn't by the time he swung, he was all the way up near the net. Yeah, no question. Oh, oh nice, hands. Ollie. Noble. Hands. Such a great play too. From Vuk to make that move and just you know yeah. just try to put it down the middle and back to Deuce. Yep. That's gonna work. No, oh, that's, that's a bummer. Oh, I thought it was Almost impossible in. to I do it, it twenty degrees. Yeah. Backhand volley. Backhand volley spiked. Wow. Yeah, that's impressive. I thought it was gonna work just because it was cold. Sure. That's just bad luck. Yeah. You see John shaking his head. <laughs> yeah. Back to the eye. Here. Disappointed in himself right, for. Point. just wants that. Vuk took that a little quick, right? Mm -hmm. he, he was in the right position. He didn't wait. He got a little antsy. And yeah. And you know what? It, it is kind of a, an interesting element, too, because John Noble is one of the tallest guys that you're going to meet in the world of paddle. And so it does change the angle a little bit, you know, oh, yeah. where if, you know, he's hitting a little bit of a, of a waterfall, that down-up overhead, and it's coming off John's paddle a lot differently than it is Brad's. You know, and yeah, Vuk has point. converted a bunch of backhand drives off of Brad's overhead sure. and almost none off of John's. Yeah, great point. Well, see, we don't even need analytics. We just have McClure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just you just pick it out. <laughs> if I have one more beer, I'm going to come up with some real creative <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, we're not doing the uh, the CPTC drinking uh the Will, the Will Comer drinking yeah, yeah, game drinking that involves game certain types agenda, of errors. Exactly, yes. Yeah, but don't get me wrong. I'm sure that viewers at home are playing. Yes, on their own. Yeah. It's a great shot. Oh, oh that was the one he was looking pretty. for. That would have been pretty. That was the one he wanted. Speaking of which. Wow. Great return again. Yeah, two and big, a good read. Good game. read too by John. Just yeah. a I just too, find too that big insulting. A shot. If I if I miss a shot and then my my opponent hits the same shot, just to prove that they're better than I am, which were, which usually is the case anyway. But that's not the point. Still in it. Hanging out and deuce. That's a second set point on his paddle there. And he's saying, "Partner, give me another." See, even at this at this level, you got to make the return for his, Whoops. That was the perfect amount of miss hit, Brad. I like it. That was a good shot there, John, too. Nice. Any amount of miss hit is a perfect amount of miss hit, uh, Coach. I, that's the way I look at it. <laughs> as long as it goes in. There is no such thing as... Uh, My best top spin lob is always a miss hit. <laughs> My whole game. That was a late location on that. No way. Nice shot, yeah. Yeah. Lot of action on that thing. Yep. Good. Good stuff. I think that's a very underutilized shot. Is when you get a short lob like that. That's not too let high. Let it bounce. Let it bounce. Yeah. And good point. Take Coach. the ball on the rise. Yeah. You counteract the spin with the rise of the ball. Yeah. You, you, really, you get a little bonus out of it. You really get a little mm -hmm. bonus. Exactly. Ben, you're right. That's awesome. a great location. Right hip. Yep. Amazing. Great good. location on the return. Made up for it on those set points. That was a great return.
tell you what, Dan's getting comfortable off the deck on the mm -hmm. backhand side. He just yeah, he's starting to he's starting to bounce a little bit. You can kind of see it in his movement. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. going to be a problem. Oh, be Great get. Unbelievable. He's got that arm out there. It's like it's extended. Yeah. He's Reed Richards from the uh, old Fantastic <laughs> yeah, Four. Exactly. Mr. Fantastic. This is good play. You know, for the, the height that oh, John is, wow, forehand. that's tough. Yeah, that's a really good the spot. That's one he took down the line. He did mm -hmm. really pounding middle with that ball, and then he just changed it, and John wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Well, you know, it's not an easy shot. I don't think you... Yeah, for sure. For as tall as John is, he spends more time up in the air than almost anybody I know at his height. It's incredible. It's funny you say that, Coach. We're always... Telling students not to leave the deck, you know. Whoop. Yeah, I, I do think that there's elements that are involved in high level paddle where you have to make, you know, concessions in positioning. And, oh, sure. You know, at, if you're a little taller, you can get away with some stuff that, you know, that maybe uh, somebody else can't, but it's just, it's definitely one of those things. Well, it's it's another opportunity, like, really good shift in the middle, saw it early. So that's tough. Great volley by what John. Get, what get, oh, it's in that's there. It. He got it. It's unbelievable. Good play. That was impressive. Really solid transition there by Vuk. That's not where I would have been in that situation <laughs> after, you know, hitting a good lob. Yeah, I go to the buffet. Yeah, no, yeah. he, John, John was smart to counter punch off the screen there, but Vuk is there. There we go. Luke Skywalker. No way. There it is. A little flick. Good pickup. What a great game this is, huh? It is. Yes, oh. everyone seems very that aware. Oh, wow. Deft. He converted that just kind Bow of to all, your all right finesse. There. Yeah. He rolls it. Yeah, everybody's very aware that this is possibly the, the set. It's either... It's either Nolwood walks away with the momentum of this game and maybe becomes a problem, or... Oh, he tried yep. it. And there it is, five all. Going the distance with this uh, set here. It's only it's only fitting, really. Oh, that was a big time hold by Brad. It was. Yep. And now we're going to see how these next, these first couple of points go with the, with the momentum, the freshly found momentum of that. That flick. That's the home court advantage right there, Coach, if you don't mind my saying. <laughs> Sean, tell us a little bit about home court advantage and what it means. <laughs> I know I wasn't here last week to set you up so you could spike <laughs> that one, but. <laughs> I'm just saying maybe Brad is more familiar with the surroundings. Yeah, it is it is possible. Do you believe in home court advantage, Ben? Well, I do because. He's being so political. He didn't believe <laughs> <laughs> No, I think, ben, I think Ben tells the truth. Go ahead, well, I'm sorry. The biggest thing is how tight the screens are mm -hmm. and then the lights, right? Yeah. So, um, okay. You know, there's some places you'll play and the, the ball just doesn't come quite out the screens as much as others. Sure. Uh, and then the lights, like you said, these are beautiful LEDs, but some are, oh. aren't are direct, some are indirect. That's some Brad's are first backhand sure. screen drive miss, by the way. Some have three lights, some have four. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it maybe isn't... Uh, it maybe isn't as much of an advantage as like, uh, you know, home home golf course where no. you know every blade of grass oh, gosh, versus yeah. playing somewhere else or that's a huge or event. like you know huge sporting events where the crowd gets involved and you know can can you know can kind of turn Flip. momentum with energy. But um, no but yeah, that's a that's a great point. If the courts you're playing on are comfortable and you're you're used to everything about them, then uh, it is gonna. Help you he out. Found. He Get threaded. that little extra bump. Good cover. But the CPTC is very lucky. We have this world class facilities almost every every step. Yeah. We have our, the maintenance on the courts are fantastic. You're right, Ben. It's, it's we're really blessed. Yeah, yeah, we're we're very lucky in that regard. That I can't, you know, I have f facilities that I might like more than others, but it's not because of quality. It's just like little, pre <laughs> it's, it's preferences. Burgers. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's yeah. mine. Sorry. Yeah, those are I the big ones. Throw that in there. 
the prime yeah. rib at Knollwood is one oh, of my yeah. favorites. All right. Like you said, the momentum the yeah. kept, keeps going. Yep, there it is. It, uh, everybody could sense that that 4-5 game was worth more than just a game, I think. So six serving five. I think it's going to be John's serve. Yeah, that's right. He's peeling a layer off. I don't know what that means. John starting John started this comeback at 2-5. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's true. It's four in a row. We go I again here. And it works. No way. This is a John McEnroe volley. What a volley. <laughs> he I does mean, have that. Then, didn't he just kind of He does. Yeah, you're right. He, he pops up a little bit, and he's just got his hands in front, and he just, just directs the volley. That's a great point. It's impressive. This guy hooks a right-handed John McEnroe. There. Yeah, but... But that, that volley, yeah, I'm surprised he missed that sky hook there. Kareem. Nice pick. Again. So do we think it's 15 all? I think it's 15 it all, 15 yeah. All. Sorry, sorry, Cal. I'm pretty sure John's overhead was wide on that last one. Cal wanted to call it good. I understand. It's okay. As we've discussed multiple times on stream, the toughest part about our operation is not having somebody courtside to know exactly what, you know, the cameras don't always pick it up the same way. Well, yeah, our intern's always at the buffet, as I mentioned. So, <laughs> they just, we can't get We have an them. intern? Yeah, we do. It's so seen. exciting. Yeah. He weighs a lot now, though. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, these, these clubs feed everyone so well. I understand. Like I said, burgers, I'm telling you. Just keeps pumping cookies. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, well, that's me? Okay, sorry. I'll stop eating baked goods. <laughs> what a pickup. Again. Jeez. Again, J.P. McEnroe right there. If he played paddle. And he was six foot eight or whatever. Oh, yeah. unbelievable This drive. is going to be one of those matches where one of my members comes and says, I want to learn this shot that I saw <laughs> on the, you know. Like I said, yeah. And I'm going to have to make some questionable comment like, well, where are we going to get the talent? that goes along <laughs> with learning how to hit that shot. Well, Sean's got to learn it first, so... Uh, <laughs> that's that's exactly right. Did he just try that again? That's tough. It was just a late, late call on the communication. All right, we're going breaker. And again, it's ever so fitting that we are, just because of the quality of this. All right, so we get to try out the tiebreaker mode on the scorekeeping app, which is... Always exciting because there hasn't been that many breakers that we've had on the uh, live stream, actually. But I think we got it. That was a strange swing by Brad. Have yeah. We seen that return really. Maybe yeah. The depth of the serve got him. Yeah, yeah. Maybe caught maybe, maybe caught it just a little bit. Maybe caught it just a little bit late. Yep. It's kind of one of his first return errors. Oh. oh. Scene. Yeah, oh, court <laughs> advantage right there, <laughs> Coach. <laughs> Little seamer. Always goes the other way for the opponent. All right, one all in the breaker here. Oh, good, keep. good leave. Just that soft pace yeah. spin overhead from John. Just, yeah, just, just, just a little error. Exactly, just, uh, exactly. Changing bang. that speed again. Just Great first volley. Yeah, good pick. See, there you go. That was a seamer. It just came right off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm really Again, impressed with Danny Oak's game. Uh, yep. You know, playing all these veterans. and he's, he's, He seems he's, unflappable. I've yeah, seen him he's, miss. He's playing fantastic. He's there. Great lob to come up with on the move there. Just a smart oh. reset. Great move by the move there to help. He's there. Nice move and good coverage. Oh, was yeah, that's unbelievable. tough. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Down the line. You have the presence of mind, yeah. Protection, huh? exactly. yeah. Yeah, 
That's one of those shots that I don't shift for. I don't know about you, but if somebody hits that around the post on me, I'm basically like, hey, good for you, yeah, buddy. That's right. Coach, I'm proud of you. When they say the pro point's never over, it's over. Nice uh, shot. Yeah, sometimes it's just over. I hit my drop shot, and if you get it, then you're better. <laughs> yeah, I've learned to say nice shot a lot. I love that play from John. So do I. Holding that super long. It's going to work. It's a good touch. Yeah. Not easy to do. Uh, Nicky's there. Yep, Brad's going for it. Uh oh. Oh, <sighs> inverted. Yep, oh, he got yeah, it. He's there. Nice pick. Wow. Again from John. These guys are in grind fest now. Yep. Whoa. Oh. Unbelievable <laughs> hands. Great volley by Brad. That was amazing. <laughs> he was so balanced the entire time. I love Vuk's move there. He took the right ball, hit a big backhand, and, you know. Yeah, I think, I think the honestly, the volley was a higher quality than he was expecting. Yeah. I mean, he felt like he crushed that ball, and he was going to get more of an opportunity out of it. Well, as they say, and Brad just I flexed it off. Just I was impressed cap, right? as hell of that return. Apparently, uh, Brad had no. <laughs> Brad was not concerned. He didn't care. <laughs> well, that was the classic paddle volley, right? Just have mm -hmm. backhand paddle up and just great just point. Rock it back. This is why we're in a backhand position. Yep. And we is a euphemism because I'm not always. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you're working on it, and that's the key. <laughs> Danny's having a little trouble now with that uh, soft spinner. That's a couple in a row. So yeah. He, he's got to just angle his paddle so the opposite way of the spin. So this, the ball wants to get off his paddle to the left. He just has to aim down the line a little yeah, bit exactly more right. with yep. the – Just a little long with the serve. Just yeah. Have a firm wrist kind of to absorb that spin. Yeah. That's a shot that just, you know, it just takes a little time. You don't get to see that all the time on level, you know, Series 3. And yeah. And as we talked about, you know, briefly earlier with the importance of changing up speed. Nice pick. When they're not, you know, when they're taking a little speed off it and going with oh. that medium spin, there's that, like, hesitation yes. of, oh, should I screen yes. this? Yes. You know, and and you can see that just the split second, you know, decision of, like, no, nah, I got to hit it. Oh, no, I blew it. Yep. All right, 5-4, Brad Servant, right? Yep. Amazing. That's a great volley. Wow. Who says you can't? That's tough. Power in a backhand what volley. A what a great battle. time for that's that coach. A tough ball to come up with as well. Danny to hit a great return. You yeah. Just, you know, yeah just, just, as they say, do? bow to your sensei. Another pick. Great pick. Uh -oh. oh, making it work. Oh, yes. Holding it. What? Smart. Oh, they deserve better than that. That's tough. What a great set. Yeah, that was a really good set. We were ready for uh, I, th they, I know for sure they held off two set points, but it could no have been question. three. Yeah, de definitely the two uh, that I remember uh, off of, uh, as we were talking about, Vuk's return a little bit. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's great a really set. good comeback from 5-2 to, to balance it out. That was unreal, Coach. That was one make of the best sets I've seen yeah. this year. Only Absolutely. One All right. Bills. Yeah, we got a we got a quick uh, IBJI uh, video here coming up for you guys as our uh, sponsor. Thank you to them for making the live stream happen, and uh, we'll be back Good after a, a couple of quick promos. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore, and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits. We're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Illinois Bone and Joint Institute is the best choice for orthopedic care. Our walk-in ortho access clinics provide treatment by orthopedic specialists without a trip to the ER. 
With evening and weekend hours, we provide your family with excellent care when it matters most. Visit IBJI.com to find an ortho access immediate care clinic near you. All right, 7-6 in a breaker for Knollwood. Really good stuff from both teams. What would you uh, put your coach hat on here, Ben? What, what do you think are the uh, adjustments, uh, if any, that you would pull for, for these teams? You go first. Well, I, I don't think there's anything either team or, you know, they're going to make any big adjustment. Like we said earlier, these guys are going for shots. Yep. They're having fun. Uh, they're being offensive on overheads. And in the backcourt, and we just sort of see who can get the momentum going and keep it, you know, keep it a bit, little bit longer, right? So, uh, and I think Danny and Vuk got a little antsy when mm -hmm. they got the five-two lead. I think there was a few swings where mm -hmm. they were just like trying to close it out, like where they think that they got out of their rhythm. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. I would say. Um I would say that I think Brad and John tightened up the net a little bit in the second half of that set and found a little more of a groove with Brad hitting more overheads and John just doing his thing at the net, you know, with his volley and his poaching. And that seemed, you know, they didn't have any miscommunications after that after that big one, um, you know, where the ball bounced between them and then they kind of locked in their their spots. And, um, and Vuk's best... Uh, Screen drives have actually been off of the shorter side screen. Yes. And so maybe instead of him jumping up the side and trying to cut off that big one and like snap it down into the court, maybe he looks for a few more of those. Yeah, I agree. Um, just because he he I mean those were rockets and he converted them so well. So here we go, set number two. Great touch by John. Oh, yeah. good dig, tweener. Yeah, very nice of him to play that. So tough to let that ball go. What a showman <laughs> on both parts, you know. <laughs> he, he, he'll keep it in play just, oh, no. Oh. Oh. I'm telling you, John is looking for that ball 100% of the time. Yep. Yeah. He is just wanting somebody to go at his corner so that he can pull the trigger on a forehand. Well, it's nice to be able to hit that shot. I don't know what that's like either. But look at that. That, real, that ball really came out. Sure did. New ball. New ball for the second set. It's going to throw everybody off for a minute. Good move by Vuk there going mm -hmm. backhand return. Good dig. That's the shot. Yeah. Yep. He needs to take that high ball away. Mm -hmm. They've been kind of pounding that corner a little bit. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier, even if you miss that shot, it puts yeah. something in the po your opponent's m mind. Like, yeah, it, okay, it poses a threat. Yeah, you know that's dangerous. That's a great so shot. Be careful. That's a great point, uh, Ben. Sometimes uh, just showing your opponent something can make him think twice. Yep. Otherwise, you don't want to get him too comfortable. I think Paddle, that was as as a wise man, and I don't know if it's if his name was Matt McClure, but if a wise man once said, you know, sometimes. Uh, Paddle is about making the other team uncomfortable. That serve was just a little long. Matt McClure said that? <laughs> yes. He also said that you miss 90% of the putts you leave short. <laughs> Matt what McClure. A volley. Matt McClure. What a genius. Great ball, John. And Barney Rubble. In there. Great ball there as well. That's a really good drive. It almost seemed like he took a little off that mm -hmm. one, right? Yeah. It wasn't his full. A little more yeah. top on it, yeah. you're right. You know. Kind of died in and the, off the screen a bit. It threw, the, threw him off. Good direction change there by John to pull that down the line. Yeah, after just the shot before passing right in the middle. Really nice mix up. Again. Yeah, good snap. Wow. This is uh, vintage John Noble. Yeah. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Crazy. Brad. That was filthy. You could hear it from here. Yeah. The sizzle. Super thin. Just as some of you are uh, watching at home thinking, what could he have done there? He can actually reach over the net if he wants to. If he gets there. If he gets there. That is the rule. 
Some people wonder about that, but that is the rule. If he can get there, he can reach over the net and hit the ball, providing he does not touch the net. Yeah, he can actually hit the ball backwards Back in, into exactly, the net. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, end the point immediately. Exactly. I'm only saying that because we had that question. Because every so often you'll get that in a league match. Good scoop. Oh, nice again. pull, John. Again. You know, he, when he does that off of his back foot oh in particular, yeah. and you're just like, it's just not the shot you're looking for. No. You, you just don't think that it's just going to get pulled that direction. And yet, you better right. start looking at it. That backhand is on fire right now. It is. Mm -hmm. That overhead, not on fire. No. <laughs> Maybe He's just it. asking himself <laughs> the same one, way okay. for the back-to-back -back points. Oh He's like, you same guy? You're going to do that and then miss that overhead? I mean, and I, look, I'm taller than the average bear, but I think I was <laughs> that big. I'd probably be trying that stuff, too, because that was – you don't necessarily hit a ball like that down like that on a regular basis, but if, you, if you're up there in the stratosphere, I suppose you can get away with it. No, that. but if you're 6'5". Yep. Yeah. Well, I know they're, uh, they're worried about giving Vuk too low of a ball to hit, so it, he, they're definitely so not, trying to I, give him – that was a great volley by Brad, but that was definitely the ball that Vuk <laughs> needs to be looking for, I think. Yeah. That was uh, that was a different element. And, I mean, Brad I put it on the baseline, so there's a chance that that ball starts to drift long. Sure did. I think Brad just tried the Brian Uline Albuquerque. <laughs> I think he did, too. <laughs> that yeah. was the, I think that was an Albuquerque attempt. I, I that think he did, too. It ended up being more like a yeah. Santa Fe or something. <laughs> <laughs> he may have changed his mind in the middle of that swing. I'm not... Look more, Dude, you know, John's willing to ended up in willing Buffalo. to hit it. John's like, you know what, Brad? I'm going to show you how to do it. Here, here it is. <laughs> oh. Great return. Yeah, this is that's really okay. where Vuk wants to be that's right there. That's just a great move to stay in yep. there. Yep. Most of the time, we'll tell somebody, maybe even bail at a play at a time like that. But sometimes staying put will work out. Oh yeah. Nice shot. Good balance play there. Wow. Unbelievable. Good hands on both sides. Both I think we sides, call that really home well done. advantage. He's just comfortable. All right, there, back from 40 love, huh? Deuce. Deuce. Uh, a little wide. A little wide add the, in. These 40 love games are I know. so big with the momentum. See if Vu can bring the goods here. That's a good leave by nope. Brad to wow. not put his face in front of that ball. Now nah, they're shaking their heads, this 40 love lead. Yeah, that, that's Shoot. That's when depression sets in. Yep. Um, you yep. know, it's just funny. This came up the other day. You were talking about that the rule of the backspin. So somebody, somebody framed a volley. It wasn't an intentional backspin, but it had some spin on it. It went real high, and I ran up to the net and I reached over and I snapped the ball back into the net. And in doing so, I hit the net into my <laughs> own leg <laughs> because I was standing so close, and I was like, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I apologize, but I have to give you guys that point, even though that was an opportunity for me to have a highlight reel. And they were like, what, what talk? And I was like, no. The oh, net definitely caught shot. my pants off of my own shot because of where I was standing, which is a good reminder. you got to tighten up the nets, you guys. You don't want to have any no embarrassing moments like that. That kind of coordination is why you were director. Uh, <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> to his credit, my member was like, you shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. Nice Keep pick. it to yourself. It's going to work. Yeah, good read. The flick. Yeah. That's Jeez, that's, that's a that great caught. ball. Really good ball. What a shot. So we got 15-30 here. Correct. Look at that pick. Yeah. Good move. There's Brad's go-to. I might not make it. Smart. More to, more Sense, point sensing there. perhaps that Brad was, or that uh, John was camping out in the corner looking for his forehand exactly. and just decided to. Do nothing with the ball to the oh, middle. That's a really one. good low volley. Uh, or to even died. Ben's point, sometimes uh, the slower the shot or just the right pace makes it difficult just because it comes off the screen so poorly or slowly. Sure. Testing the flex at the net. Oh, 
Oh, oh bad oh. luck. Bad luck or good luck, depending on where you're at, but that was a great. John's offense right now is on yeah. fire, both yeah. sides. Yeah. He's just bringing it. Yeah, he's not, uh, he's not missing a lot of drives here. It's a good serve. Very good. That was really deep. Just Brad took a good swing. Just came in a little too quick. Again. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Great pace there. Yep. You don't see a lot of reset overheads in this match, do you? No, you're seeing <laughs> a lot more of the heavy ball, you know, the spin off the screen. And uh, it, it's actually interesting because even though we're seeing some longer points right now, I do not get the impression that anyone has taken anything off the ball. No. Nope. But more that all four players have kind of acclimated to the speed, right? And yeah, so yes. like they're, they're making a few more shots, and they're Big you hole. know they're they're seeing you know they're they're kind of adjusting to each other's games. All right, two two. So. Yep. They fought off that 40 love uh, mojo, which is good. That's just a great backhand wow. return. Yeah. Yep. He was kind of falling away. That's the impressive thing about that one. Yeah, that was just all arms there. Oh. Good hands. Oh. Good hands. Legendary. Legendary. I'd love to see Vuk not get cute with the touch shot there and just take and maybe that just high bail. slice right at John's stomach and just yeah. try to get behind it, right? Force John into the volley. Yeah. It. Yeah, it, it's the tennis player in him that's going to carve an angle to hit a ball around somebody sure. instead yeah. of just being like, you know what, I'm going to put this on you and we're going to get into a knife fight. Yep. And I just take my chances. Look at the hand. Sit down, sit down. No. Almost, Almost. Just a hair. By the way, that last one that uh, Brad faulted on, that's, I think that's a first serve he's missed. Yeah, there hasn't. Uh, Good point. It yeah. is nice to see, you know, a, a couple of faults here and there, but it's not like becoming the difference maker nope. in a in a match. Although I do remember early on having this discussion with, uh, uh, I think it was Dave Bukowski, who I always enjoy talking West paddle with. West Orleans own Dave yeah. Bukowski. Yeah. And he was basically saying that, like, if you play a paddle match where you don't hit a fault, like, shame on you. <laughs> like, because, like, it just means you're not do like, there's yeah, no risk the involved. Yeah, and, there, and it just, you know. Well, it depends. Well, let's face it. If you oh, wow. Him, he's that's there. A, he's there. Oh, great. Great move Great from Danny. I really like that shot from Danny. I was just thinking to myself that John's been hitting some slow cuts over to this forehand that he's just lobbing. Yeah, and, and maybe he should make some giving, moves. Giving John a little bit too much comfort. Yeah. And uh, he took that one away nicely. Oh, he had it set up. Yeah. Great play. I feel like Vuk's taking a little off his return, and he's starting to have a little more success, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Sean, yeah. you mentioned it. He's he's turning it over a little bit more. Yeah, a little more top. And it, sometimes it's even better if they let it go because it's going to die in the corner instead of rebound off the back screen. Yeah. Great hands. You can't hit the ball too hard in paddle. Contrary to popular <laughs> 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 I shouldn't say it that way. They're based on, based they're on what their, you're seeing in this match, is that what you're no, talking they're about? they're having no. their fun. I'm talking about this match and our members at our, our home club. I'm yeah. just saying, they're having their fun, Coach. We don't want to take their fun. Well, away. as I'm always trying to, you know, uh, convey the difference to what, you know, really high level of any sport is, they could be hitting it harder. Like, yes. the, you have to understand <laughs> yes, that, like, yes. if this this is these players' 70% because right. they're putting the ball in the court all the time. Right. Hitting the ball harder would mean that they would be missing left and right. So, like, this is their controlled oh. speed, which is the part that makes it impressive. It's yes, not sir. just... They're not all just stomping on the gas the whole time, exactly. even though it looks like looks they're like ripping they the cover off every yeah. ball. Yeah. yeah, I can assure you, Brad Smith can hit it harder. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> I think I still have a bruise on me from He's 2014. There. Perfect example right there. Luke hit that ball. Yeah, such Maybe a good a placement. Flatter, yep. And Brad was able to scamper back there with one step and get the ball back. Yep. There we go. 
A Nicholas nine iron right there. <laughs> See, I, I like this ball from Vuk where he's just, uh -huh. just sort of hitting it deep and yep. it's gonna work. Not over hitting spin. Nice playing from Brad there. Keep picking on. But that, that's the old push-up principle there, Coach. That one-hand <laughs> flick backhand from Brad yep. is just so deadly. Yeah. He can spot it. Yeah, and I do I do think that part of the uh, threat with Brad's shot, I mean, I hits, he hits it plenty hard. But he also, like, there's, there's so much wrist involved yes. in so many of his strokes that it just becomes so difficult to read because it doesn't have, like, a guided, Yeah, you got you no know, idea until he actually comes Set up and finish. You're yeah. just like... Look, he made contact, and now it's here it is. <laughs> exactly. And that's why he wears pads. And that's why. No, no that's, yeah, that's right. That's imp yeah, I'm telling you, man. I'm. I'm just. It's amazing, especially. Only well, he got a hold of it. It's like lining out to the third baseman there in baseball. That was a nice serve. Just missed it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it great is. touch. I think we just have the Over perfect the shoulder. Well, I'm not sure sh what that one was. The, the, was that a backhand? <laughs> it was a high, high was backhand <laughs> cut. He, he just may have overcommitted <laughs> to be in the middle, and then the nothing lob was yeah. created. well placed. Created. By the way, move. that last ball, oh, great I mean, Danny. Oh, that last ball from um, John, where that return might have been like his first missed drive yeah, in this set. I, I think mean, you're it, right. I can't remember another one. Ooh. That you were just saying. Hard. <laughs> so Brad and flat John. Start? All right, three, three. Yeah, three up. That wasn't uh, their best game, but it. Br Brad and John on. is fascinating because they have played together enough at this point where they don't call the ball really anymore. Yeah, right. Like that, that's just not something that they feel the need to do. But it has come back to bite them a few times. Yeah. In, in the you know at there's least, there's been two. yeah there's been a, a lob that During this, uh, that was missed and then that last up. ball where John decided to let it go and thought Brad was there like you know that's uh, there there's yeah I know that's their rhythm and they play together so much that they don't feel like they need to do it but I tend to go the other way where I'm calling every ball where I'm hitting a return of serve going mine and my partner's like really you think. <laughs> Just keeping them on your toes. You're keeping your partner on their toes. With yeah. Coach, you know. That's clearly what it is. I just hit a shot and then walk off the court and let them play singles for a while. And, <laughs> you know. and I got to tell you, I love it when I get to play singles with you. <laughs> I just don't feel appreciated sometimes if I, unless I don't do that. But. Danny has uh, really been dealing with that ball better in this second set. I agree. He's, uh, he's, he's shifted his target a little bit, and he's let Vuk have some of the big spin ones off the back. That was yes. not happening in the first set as much. That is good adjustment from those guys. That's about hit. Yep. I like the swing. That's, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's the one where John's like, okay, well, now he's swinging at it. You know, you pound down on those. Sometimes you'll bait your opponent into trying that if you feel like they – we are 50-50 with it. You might actually uh, induce a few errors off that one. In other words, if they just love swinging at that s screen drive, yeah. Sometimes you just kind of induce that. Yeah. Putt, it it clearly was that. what um, it was clearly was what John and Brad were doing a little bit with Vuk in the first set, right sure. off the high backhand. Sure. Like mm -hmm. he missed a couple, and so they were just like, you know what, let's just go hard and high at that corner until until it converts. No, no question about it. Not that these guys haven't been pulling them off. That's too bad, actually, from Life Sport there, because they definitely had uh, some chances. momentum in oh, that yeah. game with a couple of faults and then uh, maybe a little too much off the re return yeah. error no side. No question. But too bad. But too not bad too decisions. Too bad return games in a row from each team. So yeah. here we are, 4-3. Four, 3-4, three. Three, four, sorry. That's good. Oh, that flick just, I'm telling you, I get such a kick out of that flick. It's almost disdainfully. Oh. Same thing. That's he, the he one John really wanted. Set up. He didn't really set up like he normally does. Yeah, that you're, you're right. You're right. It was a, maybe a bit of an afterthought. Oh, kind of You know what? I got to tell you, Danny and Vuk are really, they really shift well at the net. I mean, they are, they're... Making volleys happen 
from all kinds of different positions that I mean it's uh, it's pretty impressive they're each they're each playing their role and yeah you're right coach move, they're moving the ball around a ton and they're making a lot Sometimes I mean their get, volleys are you get lulled into watching the ball a lot but you don't necessarily watch position that's gonna work yep so they got Luke and Danny switched here oh nice backhand from the yeah, Wow nice. oh, look at the top who saw that coming? He hasn't hit a ball with that top all match long. And he just Below the that. net snap roll. That was that was tough. Great shot. Yeah. Sometimes that's the kind of swing that gets you right back in yeah, it. Yeah, maybe maybe Danny's a little more comfortable in the in the ad side. In the ad side. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was interesting. Oh, yeah. oh that's a nightmare. Yeah, I knew that that's was a great shot. Yeah, really nice. Again, the the setup looks just like his normal hard slash. Yeah. So it's up that you know it's a. Deception too. They, Vuk did not read drop shot there. That's a smart drive. That's a smart it's tough. drive. Yeah. yeah. How good yeah. is that? Right in the corner. Again, again to your point, Ben. That thing just just dropped. More topspin. Yep. Dropped in the corner. Because Dan got to it, he just couldn't do much with it. Oh, vintage noble oh. right there. Yeah. Inside out. I swear I've I swear I played tennis next to this guy. You probably did. I, I mean, John played definitely. a lot of tennis. How bad? Another good return there from Brad, and just caught it a little bit off the edge of the All paddle. Right, big game, the five volley. three, serving for it here. Oh, another one. Good stretch. Hold it off. Yeah, that's that's the one right there that Vuk has really. You know, that yeah. just seems to be such a comfortable stroke for him. And even if they make the volley, he's inside the court already. Taking it nice and high. Mm -hmm. Taking it mm -hmm. above the net, not letting it drop. Yeah. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> yeah. again. Yep. Yep. That was more of the quick one that we've been hitting. He's been missing a little bit, right? right. But yeah, he's, but he, he didn't have to. That one. He didn't have to go up after that ball at all, right? No. He didn't. He didn't have to yep. throw his hands above Perfect his shoulders and, no. and knock Perfect it down. And I love how he went right at the guy at the net, where yep. you know, you, even if you're going to hit it long. <laughs> <laughs> that was a uh, yeah. That's what <laughs> <I have laughs> attempt there. I love it. It's okay, maybe not home court advantage, maybe home court comfort. Uh, that was the hardest reset overhead I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> uh -oh. Brad's starting to feel confident now because he's faking different directions yes. with his overhead. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah, the no -looker. Oh, yeah he's looking one direction Ooh, and then hitting out. it the other way. Good decision. That might not make it. That's a tough ball. Yeah, Great that's shot. the one you take yep. on the rise again. I love it. Nice yeah. dig. He's there. Smart. That's tough. Handled like a champ. Oh. oh. That's a good point. That's a good point. Probably the first, like, truly impatient swing <laughs> there oh, out, the of, out of that ball. Yeah. Out of, yeah. Yeah, out of when, that, out of that whole point. You know, when Vuk gets some quickness, he'll be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, 5:30. Nice. That's yeah, tough. Really tough. It's and it's tough to take that off the deck, a, d a ball that deep. Well, like yeah, it's, it's getting on his body so quickly. Yep. Yeah, that it, like he's, you know, if the thought of getting out of the way is, is possible, then he's still. Oh. That was what you were talking about there, Ben. That, that was kind of the shot you were hoping. Yeah. He was, you no, just trying to put it right on his body. Yeah, that's the one. Happened to clip we the tape. We got a match but point here. We do have a match point here. Love it. They're, they're just banging. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because there's no. There it is. That's a great ah. match. Well wow. played. Wow. Really good match. Yeah, Congrats well done. To Wood. Brad and John. Fun to watch Danny and Vuk. They they made some incredible shots. Yeah. yeah we get I think some they big won. ratings off that match, Coach. They yeah. Would, they would love to have that first set back, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. That's, but that is, I mean, clearly a match, you know, that's a couple of points either direction. You know, no to take to no take question. those sets. No question. Or is this it? 
Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know what the. We're so organized. I, love I don't it. know if. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if we were uh, if we were slated to do this second one or not, I didn't clear it with the players. Let me put it that way. I didn't I didn't no get waivers. permission to uh, no waivers were signed to do the live stream on that one. But we'll right, see what's going on. Into it.
All right, and we're back for the second match of the evening. Ready to fire it up immediately. This is the first point. So far, everything's going swimmingly. Uh, and out here, uh, joining us now, we have Mike Shabraya. Am I pronouncing that right? You are. Shabraya? Perfect. Do you want me to pronounce it differently so it that is, you know you can correct me perfect. and get real angry? Okay. <laughs> All right. It would be more fun. <laughs> but he's a good friend of ours and also now of the stream. Yes. Um, because it, the best thing you can do in the hut when you're announcing something is to grab someone randomly who knows the teams involved so that they can provide some, uh, some you know, actual information and commentary. Um, Which is something we don't provide on a regular basis, so that's probably yeah. going to be a good thing. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's <laughs> nice to have an expert in the in the world of paddle on with uh, whatever Sean and I say uh, yes. to correct us mostly. So over there on the far side, uh, serving right now, we have Noah Seidenberg. He uh, is playing Series 3 for Life Sport, uh, along with uh, Eddie Trapp, uh, who is up at the net right now in the navy blue baseball cap. And then over here on this side, on the uh, ad side, I think is Jim Carr. For this team. Good looking. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I do. I do agree. I think Lance is good looking, and I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna help uh, bring Nolwood a victory here. So Noah serving. I don't know where we're at in this first game. Do you think that's, that's nice accurate, Cal? Serve. All right. I think it's pretty close. All right. Well, who took that first game? Who won that last point? Uh, I believe Life Sport did. Life Sport did. Fantastic. Yes. So they are up one zero. I'm oh, sorry, we're doing a little catch up because these guys took the shortest warm up of all time. Um, and hit four balls and then decided to start. I think they were doing laps around the facility before they got there. Well, that's just the best way to warm up. That's what Mike Shabraya does. He does a quick lap around the golf course okay. as a warm-up, right? And the jump rope. Yes. Yeah, the jump rope. And it's somehow he's able to swim five miles. I mean, it's pretty impressive because the lakes are frozen over. But he makes it work. He budgets his time. I mean, how do you do that without budgeting It's a budgeting polar bear plunge slash warm-up, really. Oh, yeah. That caught. So you get to play with these guys on the regular, Mike? Speed. Oh, yeah. We, we do get Almost. out there a fair amount. Jim is, is newer to the game. Mm -hmm. Tennis player trying to make the transition. And uh, Lance is coaching him through it. Fantastic. I mean, you always have to have a coach and a quarterback, I think, on every uh, paddle court. He's getting good and, hands, though. Yeah, and the only time you have any real issues is when both players want to play both roles. Jim's got great <laughs> hands. He, he's, you know, he's got all the tennis skills. He's still learning, uh, you know, what to do with the overhead. Sure. And uh, he, he favors that forehand volley uh, still, but but it's coming. We try not to hold that against him just because I've been doing that for <laughs> my whole career. <laughs> <laughs> I think Table C liked that joke. Okay, so uh, nice. Good dig. Look at that. Noah, I what know. a get. Get out of town. That is absolutely a live stream get. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I am on camera, so I am going to make this ball happen. It's a quick two-love lead for life sport, courtesy of the uh, acrobatics. From Mr. Seidenberg. That was impressive. Yeah, good dig. That's a good location there on the return. Lefty magic. Yeah, we got a little righty-lefty combo out there, which I feel like is a massive advantage in the world of paddle. Would you agree, Mike? I would. Yeah. I would definitely. I, I think, you know, Lance, is, uh, when he's confident with it, he hits that forehand real well. Yeah, I always feel like there's that element as well. Good move by Noah there. There's that element as well of when a uh, righty-lefty team is up at the net, they're just kind of throwing little different spins at you every time based on who's hitting the ball, and it can be a serious adjustment. Like, it can be mentally fatiguing to constantly you sold that one to him. <laughs> have, to, yes. have to make that happen. You know, what, what's interesting is you've got a newer player in gym who uh, is, is accustomed to playing with righties and mm -hmm. still learning, you know, where to be mm -hmm. with the lefty partner. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, correct. <laughs> well, uh, I forgot to Mike remind these guys that uh, yeah. they are mic'd up on the court, That's so 
will apologize in advance. I guess this won't be a kid-friendly stream. I didn't mean uh, I didn't mean to make the uh, shotgun mic mix so good, uh, Coach. I <laughs> yeah, usually yeah. I make it much cloudier. Yeah, Sorry. Sean, if you could do a worse job, everyone would appreciate that. <laughs> I, as I as the apologize. sound engineer, he didn't really drop any bombs. By the way, that was a no, a no, no, no. We were joke. we were just messing around. Yeah, that's fine. We did hear uh, Mike Shabria yelling from court number two uh, <laughs> during during the <laughs> last match. Highly possible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I just got to say, I'm impressed in it with how far you can throw a paddle into the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. Well, yeah. look, if you're uh, old and slow, uh, you, you've got to find a new, uh, new talent and uh, develop that well. Well, discus is for you, I think. <laughs> and uh, helicoptering your paddle no question about 60 it. yards is amazing. And let's build a sport around that, I think. A Norwood track and field. Uh, <laughs> Some yeah. type of My triathlon. Yeah. Yeah. I love uh, Noah's game. He's such a grinder. He's got an unconventional uh, swing. You know, it's a it's it's a little bigger than you know what you might see normally, and he converts so many shots. Seemingly, it's incredible. Yeah, I've, it's been really fun to watch him as he's moved up. You know, through the series. I think maybe the first time that I met him, he was in Cleveland, and he was maybe playing series. I don't know, eight or nine. It's you know, there. something like it's that. And he's just he plays all the time, and wow. He plays all the time, and it's just one of those things where, like, he just, you know, he's he's athletic enough where he's just going to convert shots. Well, and if you watch the point, I mean, he's he's rarely out of position. Right. And, and he makes the right decision. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not, you know, paddle is not always the uh, the form-dominant sport that people wish that it was, you know. It, it's less well about put, how it looks. Coach. Yeah. Thank less God, about how right? it looks and a lot more. A lot more function over form in a lot of ways. Thank God I can still coach them. <laughs> Thank God. I, you know, nobody wants to watch that. Just, <laughs> uh, just watch me flip a ball. You, it's bad enough. No, I think that, I think you're doing fine and improving. It it's the beard. Like, it looks. Yeah, no, yeah, it's probably. It's uh, it's helped anyway. This is a break point, if I'm not mistaken. Smart. In there. Yep. He's there. He knew yeah, that that's coming. the right. That that's the right coming. play there. That's the right shot from Jim to get right on top of the net, play it from above the net, and just let it die off his paddle. What do you guys think about the uh, double glove look there on uh, Carlson? You know what? It's fascinating to me because I uh, would warm up absolutely with a mitt and mitten combo, but I could never play a match with that much stuff on. I don't. I don't know about you. I mean, well, you have a two-handed backhand. Yeah, I. You know, I could never wear uh, gloves like that. So, yeah. So he wears a sleeve, I think, on the serves. He does. That's the amazing. Thing. I was just gonna say, it's not that they're both gloved. He's got uh, actually the mitt on one of them. It's his playing hand, and then he's gloved up on the other one. So he's basically two gloves gainy from the uh, yeah. PGA Tour. You know, it's so two all here. I usually don't start giving people too much flack until until you uh, run into those guys that wear a golf glove all the time. You know, <laughs> and they have still have a paddle that has a wrist strap on it. That's really yeah, especially when they're at the supermarket. Like, <laughs> what, what are you doing there? With, you know. Oh wow! Some serious top. Great drives guys. and volleys from both teams. One hander. Okay, Mike. I didn't realize uh, Mr. I, Carlson had that one hander like that. That was impressive. He, he's got some athleticism there. He, he's bringing that back end out yep. more and more these days. Yep. Uh, yeah. I, just, I jinxed him right there. <laughs> See? Yeah. No, that's how I it goes. Just shut up. That's how it goes. There's no chance of that not happening when you make a comment as an announcer. Exactly. You're absolutely going to screw exactly. up someone's next next shot immediately. Sorry, dude. Oh, that could work. Oh, oh. Almost. I love when those go in, though. So this is interesting because a big part of this match is about adjusting to Noah's serve. He has a big kick serve, and it moves a lot both off the deck and off the screen, and you see people struggle with it on a regular basis. He does mix it up. Yeah. He's gone wide in, down mm -hmm. the middle. And yeah, it's a, it's a good serve, and it's one of those things that it'll, it'll definitely draw some errors. And he's gotten so much better at it over the past couple seasons, you know, where it's just it's become so consistent. It, there was a time where it was, you know, kind of a 50-50 endeavor to oh, yeah. hit the ball that big. But, I mean, he just stuck with it 
and, and, it, and it's really paid off. I'm just going to mention it. He's got that massive backhand grip. Too. He does. Yes. So he yes. I mean, he can kick it to the opposite side yeah. screen when it's warm for he sure. Good it. dig, Lance. Great. Yes. That's going in too. Oh, what a lob! Nice. <laughs> Athletic ability. No substitute. This is going to be good. Good cutter. He got it. Yeah, he did. Good pick. Well, now there's so much investment in this point that there's no way it doesn't end with someone Get being over. irritated. Oh. oh. Yep. I would think they're going to favor playing Jim on the ad side. Or he's, he's newer to this side. He, he will normally play the deuce court. Uh, but with the lefty, they've got him on the ad side. Mm -hmm. tonight. And he's, he's still getting accustomed to those screens. So I, I think you're going to see no one any playing that side. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably Speed. the play. Good dig, Lance. Nice pickup. And I don't know about you, but there's an awful lot of time. No oh, way, no way. Oh. Nice try. <laughs> there's an awful lot of times that where been spectacular. Um, you also, I mean, in a righty-lefty combo, you, I, I tend to uh, maybe sometimes too much keep the ball away from the lefty because you're not used to what comes out of that space. It's true. You know, you spend less time practicing it, and if you let your brain shut down and just hit like a basic reset, all of a sudden it's right to somebody's forehand. You're right, <laughs> and, uh, and The other thing is, why is it that lefties seem to be able to be able to go inside in a lot up the alley? I don't know, like, but I hate that. It is fascinating, and it would be curious to see if there's just like the way that games develop because you know, righties have less opportunity to play against lefties, and lefties are always playing against righties, righties, and so, so, so yeah, it. it's yeah. just you know. I still think that when Federer retires, he's going to be like, I hate playing lefties. <laughs> <laughs> the like he worst. hasn't said anything about it for 20 years of his career. And then at the end. Illegal. Yeah, right. He's going to be like, illegal. gosh, this is the worst. Nadal was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So two serving three here. Good pick. Back in there. Oh, oh two-hander. Maybe held it one. too long. I mean, the decision was there, but maybe didn't uh, didn't step no, up on the ball early enough. <laughs> I like the things that he said that he's working on it. You know what? You never you never can get too good at this game, coach. You got always got to be working on something. Well, Mike's too good at this game, so. All right. Fair enough. I actually am well aware that Knollwood has been poisoning his water supply for a while <laughs> to try to keep it even for everybody. Just because otherwise, you know. I, I wish it were true. So Jim's been working on the serve to the ad court here. Mm -hmm. he, he, he likes to go into the body here hard, and it's starting to come around. Yeah. Oh, that that's a great bit. Turn. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow, that right, is absolutely so the right decision, by the way. You let that ball go and yes. hope that it's out of bounds. You do they not try to cover that can. shot. Well, to be fair, <laughs> yeah. I don't think yeah. he hit that one totally square. But but he's talented enough to be able to loop it in there. No, but it was a good serve. It was. Good switch from these guys at the net. Oh, yeah. He got it. He got it. Oh, almost. Mm. Do you think Hummer. he got that? Is it me or did he get that? Was that I, like? I don't know. I, I mean, he might have. I'm just trying to spread he, he sunshine been pretty around. Close. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I just can't see. If he did get it, I probably would have done exactly what those uh, what Lance and Jim did, and just like walk off the court yeah, and then right. call him a yeah. liar. Go to the buffet. No, you're you didn't get there. What are you out of your mind? All right. <laughs> okay, four serving two four here. Four serving two for life, life sport. sport. Yep. It's a good dig. A little topspin lob there, two hander. Nice. You know, that is a good decision. I mean, he got somebody off the net. He read it early. It, it, it dropped right a little drive. quicker. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a, it's a good decision. It just uh, did not oh, turn out the way. Oh, okay. I don't think Noah did anything, you know, to irritate no, him personally. Like, uh, wild pitch. <laughs> Get out of the way so the catcher can field it. Oh, yeah. It's a good dig. I like the casual recovery from Lance. Are they going to switch back? Oh, Look at the top. Oh. <laughs> I'm starting to like that Guy Forger backhand on that side like that, man. What the heck is that? What a great reference, Jesus. John. How do you pull that I one? I don't know. Très bien. I could just tell In you. In the, the middle is, of a paddle. This is like, what the heck is it? Oh, he's, just got, he's got that huge backhand grip. That thing All almost right. bit. Anyway, so. That's tough. Unfortunately, a little frustration there from yes. Nolwood, perhaps, trying to swing their way back into it. 
great pun there, Coach. Wow. Yeah, thanks. I work out. Broadcast. I, I got to read books to keep up with this stuff. Books are dead, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Although I have uh, recently been reading a, a, a book by a, a live streamer called Ninja called Get Good Kid. And, oh, uh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's really been helping me out. It's just kind of a daily <laughs> mantra at this point. I don't play a lot of Fortnite, but I still identify with all of the big points that he makes. But when you say things like, you know, books are dead, Cal's just going to take that and <laughs> run with it with the ageism. You know, he's going to yeah. say, well, Sean, you know. Yeah, that's true. Because he knows I read books by candlelight because I always started doing that. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm making the jokes for him so he doesn't have to. Just a little deep. This is going the wrong way quickly. Yeah, it kind of you know is, what? Mike, it's unfortunate, to too, because it's not like they were playing poorly, but there have no. been a couple of, like, you know, a, a couple of let chords that didn't go the right way. Right. And definitely a couple of uh, conversions that, that just kind of slipped away and from them. And let's face it, that can happen in paddle. You can lose all the wrong points or the right points, if you will, and, and the next thing you know, you're yep. down quickly. That's going to work. Yeah, Spin. great return. Play that off the screen. Nice lob. I love yeah. that roller. No way. That's a good yep. shot by Lance there. Yep. yep. Especially as a lefty, that's going to spin a little different off the screen, and it definitely caused a problem. Oh, Great return. Huge return. Great return right there from Eddie. Eddie's been really uh, is returning that the well. Set right they there. both got 6-2. Yep. I think it is. Yep, that is our first set, and they're going to hit the reset button. We're going to go to Illinois Bone & Joint for a little uh, promo vid, and we'll catch you in 60. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee, from urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Illinois Bone and Joint Institute is the best choice for orthopedic care. Our walk-in ortho access clinics provide treatment by orthopedic specialists without a trip to the ER. With evening and weekend hours, we provide your family with excellent care when it matters most. Visit IBJI.com to find an ortho access immediate care clinic near you. So it's just us. Here we go, and we are back for set number two. And we are going to throw Cal on the mic because he hasn't been doing enough tonight, both running the cameras and the live stream and the scoring simultaneously. Come on, Cal, hey, we uh, have to do Sean, everything. can you turn this headset down? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, Mike can't hear yes. because this is... <laughs> he was just too polite to say anything. Out. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hold on. Better? That's perfect. Thank you. All right, well, in my good? absence, I think we should get one thing clear. Sean is old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is that the best you can do? It's good to know. It's, yeah. good, it's good to know. Uh, it's Because it, it's so simple. Coach, I think I hit your uh, headphones, by the way. I'm, I'm good. A, I'm such a professional. Okay. I'm, I'm right. good. Just make it sure. Okay. I'm good. My ears are bleeding, but it is fine. <laughs> I like it. It it'll, makes me feel. Out. It makes uh, you know. I'm old too, so you, know, you might have to crank the, crank well, my audio a little bit. For sure. Great sound mixing tonight, by the way, Sean. Oh, th you know what? Thank you. I <laughs> Kudos to the stream team. I don't know if we get to. I like that. I don't yeah. know if we get to call these guys out enough, but uh, my my partners in crime here, uh, Sean Albrecht, doing sound engineering. Uh, Ostensibly. Yep, and. <laughs> <laughs> and, is that what we're calling and it? And Cal Noble, our intern, um, we're calling it sound engineering. Is uh, is doing great with the camera I, set I up and Twitter. running the stream. That's one thing I like about Noah. He'll bring the beer out there, and uh, you know what? In true paddle fashion, yes. he knows that the uh, the what you do in the world of paddle is yes. you you have a frosty beverage uh, in between sets. And it looks like a real glass, by the way. That's not plastic. No, That's they keep it. They keep it pretty tight. Yes, uh, yeah. You know, here at Knollwood. 
And oh, now we are wow. lucky enough for the second set wow. to be joined by the illustrious John Noble. He's got that tournament afterglow, too. He does, yeah, that, that winning match afterglow. Knowing that we caught on camera an around-the-net post shot has to be a pretty good feeling. Um, because I have some on camera as well, but they're all staged, and I did them by myself <laughs> well done. Uh, on an iPhone iPhone 7. So yeah, well, That was my first lifetime one. <laughs> okay, good. I, I didn't know you were allowed to do that legally, <laughs> so I just did it, and, and, and then I found out and I won a point. And just waited for everybody to say something? Yeah. That's smart. Trend, thought, trendsetter. Thought, That's the way to go. I like it. I New shots my, by John Noble. I thought my partner was going to yell at me, so I just, I just did it. And, and Is just, Brad like that? Does he yell? No, he <laughs> Okay, me down. Right, right, right. No, yeah, no. Brad, Brad is more of an intimidation you factor. You know I what think. I noticed? Uh, I, I just want to make sure we get back to the match here. But I noticed that the uh, um, basically the Nowood team has gone wings out here. Uh, yeah, they they decided to pull a little switch. Yeah, which is kind of as uh, kinda as Mike Chabria was uh, mentioning earlier that I think he did say that Jim is a lot more comfortable on the deuce side and it perhaps was playing the ad side because they were a righty lefty combo. But sure, I think they felt like you know what. what the worst that can happen. Noah's point. serve chewing them up a little bit and continues to cause a little uh, problem you know what? on the returns. To your point, there's a nice looking forehand drive induced to uh, uh, volley error there, so maybe there is something to this. Yeah. All right, John, well, let's there put we you go. on the spot. How are you feeling about the live stream so far? So far, it's good. What would you like to see uh, as the number one piece of improvement, and why is it to fire Cal Noble? I <laughs> I think that would be a beginning. <laughs> but I think if, we, you, if you stop there, you know. You, <laughs> it's not enough. No. So, you know, I don't yeah, think. Okay. You, you got to fire to Sean, too. Yeah. <laughs> you got to. Uh, I totally understand. Yeah, you don't want to start with one thing. You uh, fire a lot of people. Yeah, no. Yeah, you, you got to send the message <laughs> early. <laughs> he played that lob. That, by the way, I just want to say that was a. Yeah. He's, he's looking for the sportsmanship award right there. Yeah, that, I thought that, that was, was a little deep long. as well, but it was a nice, Impressive. nice play. Yeah, no, I'm with you. And John Noble gets full credit for uh, basically uh, being the, the godfather of um, Chicago Paddle live streaming uh, at this point, and the live stream in general, right? I mean, that was that was so. your project I at, guess the, so. at the beginning, at the national level. I've got and a now few. It, yeah, you've got a lot of projects, but, I mean, that's I'm an uh, idea guy. That's know? an awesome one, and it's incredible to see what it has become. Um, yes. Now with, with, you know, thousands of people tuning in to the live stream during, work. during he, big he tournaments. It's a nice great return from Noah. Noah. Yep. Well, you're gonna be. We gotta wait. Do you have like a pinky ring we can kiss? Because I'm thinking. <laughs> Al Godfather. Alan, Alan has that. Okay, Alan. All right, fine. Alan has the jewelry that we're <laughs> worshiping at this point. Yeah. See if Lance can get us uh, another game here. Yeah. It's a good lob. They are working the strategy. There's just uh, kind of enough non-traditional shots coming from. Just set a little yeah. wide there, Jim. Little press. So as tennis players, because we have a lot of people out there that will watch that are tennis players that are picking up paddle. I mean, if you got a couple of tips, John. Yeah, the biggest thing I think when you think about tennis to this is just the patience level. So, I mean, Jim's a very good tennis player. Um, the challenge is, is just learning what's acceptable on the court. And you really, you get frustrated because you're used to hitting winners mm -hmm. in tennis and just y you see shots that you should be able to put away. And the problem is there's a screen there. It's going to bounce right back to the middle and they're going yeah. to hit you in the teeth. Exactly. So, <laughs> so or your partner for yeah. that matter, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's more, it's so much more about um, controlling the spin and pace and tempo of what's happening. And you're really trying to create movement and change in the court. I mean, like in our, our match, we didn't mind actually hitting it short if it pulled them and created movement in sure. the court. Right. Then, it, then it does actually create openings because mm -hmm. the good players are going to make everything. Yeah. So you really have to create movement in somehow that isn't detrimental to yourself and giving up angles and other things. Sure. So it's, it's a little give and take. And I think that if, if tennis players can think of that in terms of what they're trying to accomplish versus trying to hit a, a straight off winner off every shot you hit and I think that's that's really what I, I try to teach people or at least it, it get them to experience that they're enjoying playing the the chess aspect of the match and thinking that if you can kind of move someone two or three shots in and that you're going to win the point on that fourth or fifth shot um, that's that's really what you're looking for and you're going to play better paddle that way right it's a great point you know there, there are the shots as a matter of fact uh, all my lance 
their volleys, you just mentioned it, a short volley and paddle really isn't a bad volley. No, it's, it's just you just can't have it you know, too high. So exactly. if you hit a bad drop shot, they still got to cover a lot of land, and then you've got you've got behind them, mm -hmm. yep. you've got at them, you've got the other person if they're sitting. So there's just once you create movement in the court, and that was something Mike Marino uh, taught me pretty early on, just about creating that movement, and then and you see that opening right there. So they brought him in with right. that short ball. Jim's got to cover it. Lance Lance has covered. You know he's got three places he's got to cover. So yeah. if they hit a good volley, you, you know again you end up losing the point. Yeah. Yeah, and you kind of take your shot when you get it. It was interesting uh, that you mentioned that because I did a drill uh, this week or at least a little demonstration where I, I put a ball, you know, on the double sideline in the corner and then I put a ball, you know, right in the middle of the service box. And I said, if you were hitting an overhead and these two shots, you know, landed here, which one's better? And they all <laughs> thought that, the you know, the sharper angle that landed on the double sideline is better. And I was like, they're both going to hit the screen and end up in the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> like not, exactly. There is no value yeah. to hitting this ball closer to the edge no. if it's going to touch the screen anyway. Yeah. You know? And then it oh, became yeah. a He's there. great shot. There you go. Those, good, and those, those tennis skills you were referring right. to. Yeah, and you're just looking to set that opening up. Because then if you get something off the deck, and people forget that because you get so many – kind of quasi uh, crappy bounces, no offense, off the boards. Right. You're going to – all it needs to be is off an inch or two, mm -hmm. yes. and, and your same swing now all of a sudden is in a different part of, part of the racket, and you're not going to make that. Right. And your swing was fine. Everything was fine. Just the ball moved. Had a little more spin, a little less. It slipped. And so you're really trying to – basically get a purity to what you're doing and mm -hmm. that's why some of the best players basically play a tremendous amount off the screen and yes. they're able to drive off the screen because effectively it's like you're putting the ball on a tee for them yes no question especially in warmer weather yeah and i'm terrible at that so that is not one of my strengths uh, yeah, okay. I've but been defined uh, terrible well I, I that really don't makes do it me well. bad yeah. boy wow. you mean your natural tendency yeah. is that you look for the ball off the deck absolutely that's your that's yeah. your kind of a uh, Go to. Ne never yeah. found a backhand I don't like. So. <laughs> it looked that way. Yeah. You and hit a lot of good a, good absolutely. backhands tonight. Would you say that um, would would you say that there's an element as well, especially at the the pace of the match that you were playing, where um, you were choosing to take balls off the deck to try to reduce the time that somebody was having to react? I mean, I I, di I do, but I'm not necessarily thinking so much of that as just, um, I guess, in a way. But I'm trying to basically win it on the third or fourth backhand. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to basically pin one guy and then continue to drill and eat it up. And I think I had success only once or twice with Danny um, on a backhand and just kept eating him up, and he had less chance. So I can basically find a bad spot on his racket right. versus him because I'm dictating where I'm hitting it. Yeah. So if I can do it right and then I'm trying to vary the spin and the speed, um, that will be most successful. And there's guys, you know, Dane uh, Schmigdahl is wonderful at that in terms of just how much he hides the backhand. Right. Um, and there's a lot of other guys as well that are really good, but he's one that comes to mind. It's much better than I am at it, but really can do that and just eat a player up mm -hmm. uh, because he just hides it and holds it so long. Yeah. Um, Chris Cambino's forehand is like that in a lot of ways. You just sit there and double clutch at the net. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's death by a thousand paper cuts. It it's not any individual volley that you can't make. It's just a combination yeah. of shots where you start to, you know, have to make little adjustments all the time. What I noticed also, one of them's off. John, was uh, that you were able to open up the court. You actually got the down the line return open because of your ability to be able to hold the ball with that shorter compact backswing. I just noticed that during the match because you were able to sneak a few up the line. Yeah, they were cut. They were cutting more and more off of the front, and we couldn't really. I, I couldn't send Brad because I wasn't confident what I was necessarily going to oh, make or almost not make. Then. Yeah. So that once he started to move and poach, then he gave me a little bit more. I mean, I will aim for the double sideline like uh, like a moron. Um, <laughs> Because I think I can <laughs> it's hit It's only moronic if you can't hit it. Yeah, I, I make them once in a while. But um, but I, really, if I can aim for the single sideline, then I've got a lot more. And if I can just true. get the up and down movement of the spin, good point. Um, gives me a lot more Spoken chance. Spoken like a true coach there, yep. Yeah, well, I don't behave that way. I talk like it. <laughs> That's tough. Eddie really is doing a great job digging out of the ad side he right is. now. They're, they're swinging some balls to Noah because he's, uh, he's digging well, and it's given Noah opportunities to – to hurt him with some drives. So we ticked up another. So we're 3-1. We're 3-1 nice. here. 
as well, they're gonna working work. their way back yeah, into. Yeah, going to work. And you're expecting a five-set match? Is that what got uh, I told up? these guys they were playing best of nine. Should I, like I not that. have done no, that? No, I, no, I love the scoreboard. I love the, uh, the, the Wimbledon scoreboard. It's awesome. The, uh, yeah, yeah. We did. Uh, the it's, it's funny because, uh, <laughs> as you know, and one of those little things that, that pops up uh, in the world of you know technology yeah. is that as we turned the PC on, it, of course, did an automatic update for our streaming software. Yes. <laughs> and so we yeah, had absolutely. to quickly rebuild the visuals yeah. with five minutes to go. Yep. Um, so we didn't, uh, we didn't cut quite down the scoreboard the way we do normally. But yeah. now my, that's my favorite with the streaming, all the advice we get was um, all these great ideas and, uh -huh. and what I would tell people is that every one of those ideas is wonderful and they all require another person. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So well put, John. Yeah. Totally true. I said, John. You've, you, you've got an NFL truck with 25 people, yeah. camera crews, <laughs> yeah. and they're producing... And 40 cameras. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're, doing, they're doing one signal. Right. And, yeah. and, you, and right. you want all that stuff. Sounds yeah. good. Right. Great idea. Where's right. the courtside so. reporter? Yep. Yeah. Which, yeah. by the way, one day... We're going to try to make sure I try to pull that off. Yeah. yeah. But no, I think you guys are doing a great job, and I think it's um, what's really neat is to see a lot of people interested no, at the good. various levels mm -hmm. because I think you can learn so much from it. I mean, these these are these are both both teams are really good players. Um, series three. So yes, it's not the pros and all of that and what we see in the tour, but this is what people are trying to get to. Yes. And sometimes they're here and they're trying to get to the next level, and that's what makes the that's what makes paddle. You know, kind of a lifetime sport uh, because all that tennis does for a good tennis player is you end up just losing to people you used to beat <laughs> as you get older, <laughs> and the court's really, really big. Here, you can actually get better. You can for actually a while. improve. You're absolutely yeah, right. You really mm -hmm. can. You're absolutely right. Yeah, it is a uh, a fascinating element as well, and it was uh, something that came up just from you know watching tournaments and you know. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure all of those guys that are, are playing at nationals are still great tennis players. Yeah. Um, but there is an element in the world of tennis where, like, you're just not going to hit your serve as hard as you did in college because yeah. that's how, you know, yeah. physiology works. You know, yeah. and you're you're not going to run a ball down any quicker than you did. You know, in whatever your prime was for the game. Yep. No. And uh, definitely true. And this is an incredible equalizer as a sport to to be able to make it so much about your brain. John, I think you're probably familiar with this guy. So, I mean, I, I used to work with uh, Jay Morgan. Yes, you and, bet. Yeah, so, um, and uh, Jay. Wow, what a great fine. move when right he, when there. When he picked up the game, he, that's exactly what he said, which is, you know, the, the, the challenge is, he just said, I'm never going to get any better at tennis, but I actually can improve on the paddle court. So it's yeah. it's kind of renewed his uh, his racket sport enjoyment out there. Yeah. No, I, I think so, especially with, you know, the winter the winter months and the northern cities, even some of the southern cities, you really have an opportunity to play all year round. And for us, you know, we've got so many mountains nearby to ski. So <laughs> I think this is, a, this is a very good competing option for the – Oh, no question. For, for uh, Mount Wilmont. Yes. Uh, that yeah. People might be wanting to go to. So nothing against the skiers. It's just you got to go a long way. So this is uh, this it's is true. a really neat, uh, neat, neat, neat. It's neat not like you don't get a workout out here. Yeah, it was funny because we did some paddle camps out in uh, Denver and Colorado and some different yep. spots in Boulder, and it was uh, nice to be there. And it was one of those moments where I might have said the dumbest thing ever, where I was like, you know, this seems like winter sport mecca. How come paddle's not bigger? And somebody basically looked at me and said, because we have stuff to do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they were like, I can go skiing in the morning and take a bike ride in the afternoon. We're like, it's not, you know. Yeah. And so it's, it is it is an activity out there, but it does yeah. it competes with a lot more stuff. It does. <laughs> no, this, is, uh, this has been great. And I think, you know, so much of Chicago's work about getting the park districts involved yeah, the grant programs and mm -hmm. some of the things that the APTA does, but we've been doing as well for a long time, um, and a lot of that's out of Alan and uh, Bill O'Brien's vision just to really include wow, Noah. everybody, and I think that's been really helpful in Chicago. Just year after year after year, just growth, growth, growth. It's been awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty incredible. We have the benefit of of that uh, park district, you know, kind of falling into a. a, a you know, there was just kind of a, a domino effect as they started to grow, uh, you know, at the park district level. 
And I'm no fan of Illinois in, for a variety of reasons, but one of the things that we are lucky to have is a park district program with revenue that is willing to, yep. yeah, to, to take a, a small risk ultimately and end up you know, growing a sport like this. I think it's been beneficial for every park district I'm aware of. That, yep. you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been a huge boom in terms it of is. participation. Yep. But uh, when I was out in Cleveland and we were trying to you know, kind of build the world of paddle, um, you know, I talked about the public facilities, and that wasn't something they had access to. There wasn't there wasn't a park district opportunity where there was money coming in, you know, in order to build something like that. They had metro parks, which were very nice, and uh, you know, but they weren't running programming. You know, that wasn't right. that wasn't the role of of that government to <laughs> to oh, put something to together. On. What a great get! Good get by Noah. That's a great point. Well, and they needed that too because they got to they got to bring this thing back. If they're uh, I don't want them to, but we want to get the three at least. Yeah, so so 2-4. I wasn't sure if we were going to have tonight with the storm. So oh, this, yeah. this seemed to cut 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 through proper timing for paddle. Yeah, I think we I think we got kind of lucky that it stopped snowing when it did. I mean, the roads were still terrible, but uh, everybody in the clubs got the courts cleared and ran the heaters all day, and uh, oh, yeah. we were we were in good shape there, which is really the only risk uh, yeah. usually. These are beautiful courts too. Yeah, they did a really neat job with the setup. Good leave there. How long have you been here at Nolwood? I'm borrowed. Yeah, I know, I get that, but I mean playing with this team. <laughs> uh, I think it's uh, third or third or fourth year. Yeah. I think it stayed in. The ball looked good. So, yeah, we were before uh, either on Wincia. Mm -hmm. I forget which which clubs we were jumping around. Played that too. I'm telling you, sportsmanship award for Ed here. What was that? <laughs> was it? Yeah. All right. Okay. You know what? All the guys I play with call that. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's just having PTSD flashbacks from hitting Sorry. drives on the line me, and having yeah, it be called out. Let me get my medication. Hold on. He's. Uh, he just was assuming that it would be called out based on. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. What came over me? Well, you can. You can call anything you want out. <laughs> yeah. It's the, it's the risk of doing it on camera yes, uh, that, yes. that really should be concerning everyone. No, actually, it's uh, if anything, I think on your match, both teams gave you know a, a couple of yeah a couple of calls that I were close, yeah, and you know it, it was, I, it was uh, very entertaining though. It, it happens sure. really fast, and that's also part part of the nice part about paddle is that because it's such close quarters. I think you just you get better attitudes from people yeah. around what's happening and shoot. If it's in doubt, I you know, it's play a let. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's definitely the way to go. As it should be. Well, we'll see here. This is the, the game to the game to watch at the moment. Roller. Some That's magic. a smart shot there right there from Lance yeah. Very smart. To, to go back behind him with the, the waterfall. But Lance lobs. I mean, Lance does a lot of things well, and so I think that set's going to help Jim a lot here. Great serve. It was. Yeah, the trick here is just not overplay. Yeah, which is unfortunately so difficult, especially when, you know, there's uh, been a fair number of points that these guys have had where they've kind of won points off the bigger the yeah. bigger ball, yeah. and then having to take that and say like, okay. Yeah, you want to still take your shot. I mean, and yeah. I think I had a hard time with a couple of those that I got a little defensive, and I think in here you still want to be ready to do that, but you do need to stay in a point of trying to keep an semblance of pressure on right. them, and, right. and you're picking safe zones, so you've got margin for error. Right in several places. That's a really good pickup volley. There awesome. we go. I was feeling pretty good about his return there, and that was a great volley. Yep. 40-15 uh, here. Yep, to take it to 5-3. Missed a little uh, wide. Just trying to be perfect. It was a good serve, just, yeah. pick, just picked a bad target. Yeah, good swing. There you go. Oh, he went after it again. <laughs> Just a little bad luck there. It's a 
nice serve. It was. It's interesting that lob would have actually turned out better if it would, they weren't a righty-lefty combo. It's <laughs> a yeah. good point. <laughs> they just happened to be in a position where there was overheads on the outside of the court. But yep. Yeah. See, this is where someone wants to do something. And yeah. That's, that's probably the worst thing. Yeah. So it's just it's let the most them difficult part. Yeah. Yep. There you go. Yeah, consistency is its own version of offense. Yep. You kind of have to yeah, you let just it develop. Them. You want to tease mm -hmm. them enough to let them initiate at a bad spot. Yep. And honestly, it's really great to see because both Off. teams have, you know, right have settled in a little bit more yep. uh, as this match has gone on. Shot clock. <laughs> 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 he could say it out loud. We have a shotgun mic out there if he wants to. For better, for worse, that's in there. Okay. That's a good pick oh, by look Noah. At that. No way. Yep. There Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. It's going in. I love the idea. I love oh, the idea. Jeez. That's creativity for oh, me right there. Oof. That was a very good pickup. I was thinking he's coming in. What's that's he going to do with deuce. this ball? I like the dink, and then he stayed home. It's impressive. Good lob off that waterfall tennis. Oh. Right after Standard tennis cross court crush exactly. winter volley. <laughs> Except. Yep. So easy to hit too from muscle memory. Yep. It's just where you've just gone like well, this feels very comfortable. Oh wait, wrong sport. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. They got time. I don't know about you, but I find myself doing that occasionally on my serve. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I <laughs> yeah. take a swing where my body just goes like, oh, we've done this before, and I miss a serve long, and I go, that would have been a great kick serve on the tennis court, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but it was... Oh, I like it. That's oh, nice. that's tough. See, that's again, good. Yeah. By bringing him in. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. even if he makes it, Next that shot. is a huge opening of yep, the court. Exactly. And, and you just got to hold down that, from a position perspective, probably gave him more angle you wanted. Yeah. That volley on the single sideline, then both Lance and Jim can own the middle. Yeah. And, and there's really, all you got to do is hold that backhand volley mm -hmm. for both spots, and you're pretty much good. Yeah. No question. Yeah. Really and you, you really there. do, uh, when you pull somebody forward like that, put them in the position where they feel like they have to drive. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's... it's well, it's it, natural, too. Yeah. You're moving forward. You have momentum. Like, it's a rare player that gets all the way up there and then decides to lob a ball. Yep. And recover. And so you just kind of play your percentages. Oh. He got it. Oh, oh. so close, so close. Yeah. You know, another, another element of that, believe it or not, just hitting it short like that, having to bend for those over... And over yeah. and over. If it's a three-set match, that can be that can take something out of your legs a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that is uh, that is I another mean, taller, one. I mean, I was going to say because uh, John, you know, taller than the average bear right here. There's no question. I don't know. I don't mind bending. I mean, I'm a little taller too, but I'm not quite up in his stratosphere. I'm saying I don't mind bending, but after a while, you know, if you're you're on three sets, you got to do that over and over. It gets a little bit to be much. It's a great shot. Pull Good it off, pick. It's in there. I think they're picking on the right guy. So, um, up, we just jinxed him. You know, it is interesting that uh, so uh, Eddie has really been working on this uh, this kind of half speed, high higher drive target, yep. and it really has been paying off. For sure, they've flinched on a couple of um, higher volleys, and they've also let a few go that dropped way inside the court. And he's kind of playing that. Uh, He's been playing that drive more, and it seems to really be working. Well, one of the things that's really nice with that is if you're into the lob mode for a little bit and you can warm up your drive mm -hmm. with something that's three-quarter versus having to all of a sudden haul such off. A good, uh, that's such a good point, Coach. Yeah. You're and right. I think that's, that's what a lot of really good players will do is the, they won't forget about it, but they'll, they'll get into a mode and they'll hit something that's three-quarters with a decent amount of spin. And you really can't do much with that as a, as a volleyer. Um, no. 
some people, you know, there's a few guys that might cut it up and drop it, but it's pretty hard. No, they have to. They probably have to almost be looking for it. Other yeah. thing is, is, to your point, the more pace you put on a drive, sometimes the better yeah. it is for. Yeah, it's oh, going to no. bounce out, and you. Sure. Can, and I think again, the other one here is that uh, pretty much most everybody's hitting their targets above the net, so you have a pretty good idea of what volley you're going to be hitting. That's yes. Good pressure there. We're back to Deuce here. Shot Deuce time. again. Yep. It's a really. Uh, they played it. Wow. Wow. Looked yeah, a little wide, yeah, didn't it? Wide. Glad oh. you said something. My, that's that's <laughs> a foot wide when yeah. the guys I play with. It this was. Like it's, foot it's, wide. It is a board wide, but that's nice of it. That's going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. He's there. Nice. So the biggest thing, I think, one thing for folks to know is when you play lefty-righty, it's very common to do what they're doing is they alternate who they're hitting to. Mm -hmm. And it's not really the best strategy. It can definitely be uh, a yeah. – that's the first one he's missed long in a while. It's, it's much better if you can designate a place on the court. And because you're lefty-righty, you can go pick on the forehand Absolutely. side mm -hmm. or the deuce side of the court norm normally where you wouldn't have that opportunity. For us in our match, that was something we wanted to do, but that was a lot of work Brad had to do. That's a little bad luck there on that fault. Let court. So you're you're talking about swinging the ball. Yeah, John, right? you just yeah. you really you really want to keep that guy because again, like you said before, if you can take away time on the drive, you can take away time as they're trying to come up with drives uh, or lobs, I should say, yep. and they're going to hit worse and worse lobs. Really yeah, good. Yeah, creating a lot of space here. Yeah. Good movement there. Yeah. And that might have been something fun to chase chase Noah with that one versus mm -hmm. play to the open. Right. Um, but again, hindsight, it's, I'm, I'm so good behind the, <laughs> the, the mic. Yeah. Aren't In this situation where oh. we're watching the live stream, it, uh, yeah. it certainly is That's easier. A, well, there's been a little bit of a run. So three mm -hmm. games, so four, four, one up, and then back to four all. Yeah, so four up. Yeah. The, the it's got to be this court. Just things keep tying back up. Yeah, well, the, one of the things is the ball's dying as it's getting cold, it's mm -hmm. getting cut up. And then the other thing is from a temperature perspective, you're losing uh, kind of the feel of the ball. So the ball's getting colder because yeah. we're, uh, we're under freezing. So the, the point is that what's going to start to happen is that your target needs to be a little higher over the net. Oh, yeah. And as you start to block that without enough spin, what's going to happen is it's going to fly on you. And that's where we've seen some errors here that you really didn't get the right spin or the right cut. And it wasn't so maybe the stroke, it's just the ball started to die. Sure. And so, so you got to be a little bit more careful that's going to come in heavy. I mean, in a way, you probably, oh, in a way, you, you probably consider it an advantage. Maybe it's getting colder. You can be, maybe take a little more aggressive swing. Yeah, you, you could definitely be flatter. And if you can tomahawk and come from the top down like Noah does with sure. some of those, that he's going to definitely have the advantage because if you miss hit the paddle on a volley, and we saw Jim miss a couple of those, wasn't a bad shot. It just he caught the wrong part of the paddle and the weight of the ball, the weight of the, the racket, it just ate it up. Sure. That's Sky hook nice. that works. Yeah. He's going to get there. Yeah, again, just oh. a, just a nice tomahawk down. That yeah. Was. Nothing fancy. And that's why Jimmy on the forehand for returning is definitely going to be better. Just freeze him up. Sure. Yeah. And and you're not then ever playing downhill. Yeah. Uh, he does look or, more comfortable or uphill, over there. I should say on the returns because you're not you're not out. You know, 15, 30, yeah. 30, 40. You got to play a little bit more defensive to get the ball in play. Yeah. It that's does come great, up occasionally. A great uh, serve from Noah. Well, uh, coaching that uh, somebody has been talking about, well, I'm more comfortable over here in the screens, and I'm always trying to get my players to recognize, like, where do you return best yeah. from? Because exactly. that's the only shot you're guaranteed to get to hit half the time. Yeah. Like, they could decide they're never going to hit a ball to you ever again. So we probably need to make decisions based on that opportunity. Yeah. And it's so much easier on the return side to feel like if somebody's confident you're you're starting from a position of strength. Yep. Besides, yeah. it's one of the first four shots. Let's face it, those are probably the most important, especially at the uh, Series 17 down downs. A any, anywhere. Uh, they, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah that's a good point. I mean, it, yeah, you're truly, right. Because we, we were playing um, 
we were playing states a couple years back, Mike Raleigh and I, and they charted, I think, the first match of our, and I, I think we might have missed one of the first three balls in the first <laughs> set, and yeah. we played we played great, but it yeah. was basically serve, return, volley, first sure. volley, and we didn't miss any of those, and and the pressure that puts, um, and that doesn't opponent, always yeah. yeah it doesn't always happen. <laughs> But if you can put that amount of pressure, they're playing just just always down. Always, they're just trying to climb out of that hole all the time. That's a great point. And so, for I think for anybody, if you can't get into the point, if, then I don't know what advice I can really give you. You got to get started. No, no. Oh, that there it is. is a good rally. Good rally for them to get back and get a game. So they got a shot here. Climbed back in. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Baker. The hut's excited about this one. I think so. It's good entertainment. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave the three-man crew because uh, that's usually formula for bad, bad <laughs> broadcasting. <laughs> you don't want the uh, permanent guest. It's not you a double date. I think guy. we're okay. But... Uh, no, it's a pleasure to have you. Yeah, no, thank you, John. Thanks no, for, uh, I, I thanks for making this uh, project happen. Yeah, it's, 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 it's We're it's enjoying great. doing it, and it yeah. certainly is uh, a fun to, you know, to be looking for improvements and, no, and you know, there, bringing stuff there, to the world of paddle. Look, we're, we're going to continue to make things better, but I think the biggest thing is making an opportunity for people to see more paddle, understand it, um, know the communities out here to support them. And, and we got so many, so many clubs, so many pros, and people that are interested in this business and this hobby doing well. Yeah. And I do. I would definitely make a again a shout out. I know you guys speak enough about, but IBGI and a bunch of other sponsors oh, yeah. that have helped us over the years, and they stepped in really big this year to kind of come on with a lot of the docks and stuff. And so we've been kind of getting that water, watering that out a little bit this year. And it, we've got a nice a three year thing we're going to do with them. So that's going to be really good. So um, awesome. But, but thank you guys. I appreciate the, oh, uh, the you, sacrifice, John. the time, and a uh, nice little wave from Noah. <laughs> All right, boys. Thank Thanks, you. John. Appreciate you guys, it. You guys are great. All right. Well, I can't follow that. So good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back in al action with uh, Cal Noble. Wait a minute, Noble? Any relation? I wonder. No. Oh, okay, good. Okay, That's what I thought. For bias reasons. <laughs> there's, there's no relation. For, for uh, nepotism. That guy that was just on the, uh, on the mic's kind of a blowhard. <laughs> I've been called worse. <laughs> oh, not me? Okay. Not mother? Not mother. In there. Yep. There we go. Some tennis yep. hands there. Some as John was shot. saying, as that ball starts to get a little bit colder, a few, uh, few, few miss hits, a couple of shorter lobs than what we've seen in this set. So this is a set ball. Oh, jeez. Well. Yeah. He's there. Yep. Nice pick. Wow. That was a nice drive by Eddie. Yep. Eddie's really moving well. He's really started shifting around the ball and setting up his shots early. Always like to see that out of an aggressive player in the ad side. The more movement, the better that, you know, it seems like they're going to be able to, to convert. Those are some hot shoes, too. Some cool kicks there. Uh, not that it matters. Oh, that's tough. Jim's like, stop talking about his shoes. I just missed an overhead. <laughs> Sean, just shut up about the shoes. I mean, I get that it's not the wrong shot. He's trying to convert that and go high behind him, but it's uh, he had a little too thin a margin. Oh, that's tough. I'm gonna drive that with some top spin. Back to Deuce. Not the it's ball. It's a war that Eddie was hoping for. And here's a little paddle. Potential paddle trivia moment. Okay. Is has there been a game in the history of paddle where more points have been played in a deuce than in the rest of the match combined? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a great question. It uh, is definitely possible. I would say we're 30 percent. That, that's that, that's yeah. uh, where where matches are are sitting. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I'll tell you, uh, Cal, actually, uh, guys my age, we forget the score a lot, so we just go right back to do so it probably, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so it's probably age. true. And the senior division probably has happened more than it's happened any other division. Deuce again. Yeah, no, you definitely, it's a good question because you definitely only need a couple of games in a right. set to be that, like, crazy long, yeah. you know. All of a sudden, you've played 11 deuces, <laughs> yeah. which is worth 22 points of, <laughs> you know. Somebody drive the ball for crying out loud. Nice dig. <laughs> that was a good touch. We're getting a rhythm now. Mm hmm. Still like that snow coming off the. It's a good dig. Uh oh, he's can there. he get there? He's he there. can. Noah's gonna cover. Smart shot. They're switching. Good move. Oh, that's tough. Wow, great rally. That's a difficult ball. Kept it super deep, went right at him. Noah felt like he had to get out of the way in order to play it off the screen, and it just well, it's funny, caused Coach, too many problems to you, let it go. You play you play the deuce side for you know most of the uh, set. And then all of a sudden you got to switch. I mean, sometimes it's a little disconcerting to all of a sudden go ad side. That's good overhead right the there. Yep. Great set. Look at that. Well played. Looks like we're going three. We're going to go back to IBJI for a little 60 second hit here. And we will be right back with set number three at. From the heart of Chicago up to the North Shore and stretching from the Northwest suburbs down to Kankakee. From urgent in-office care to virtual in-home visits, we're making orthopedic care available wherever and however you need it. Because while we're adapting our lives to keep each other safe, we know that new injuries will happen and old injuries will still linger. And IBJI is here to help. Illinois Bone and Joint Institute is the best choice for orthopedic care. Our walk-in ortho access clinics provide treatment by orthopedic specialists without a trip to the ER. With evening and weekend hours, we provide your family with excellent care when it matters most. Visit IBJI.com to find an ortho access immediate care clinic near you. Yeah, the snow is not great for the shotgun, Mike, but it's okay. Yeah, whatever. It'll, it'll be all right. At least it's not, you know, crazy it's, it's actively covered. snowing yeah, it's covered. on the court right now. But love the ground strokes here. They're it's interesting. I don't think this is something I've ever done. Okay, we've got a third set coming at you here. Everybody in the hut is fired up. Noah's going to fire up his partner. Oh, can we get a, uh, a shout out to this bump music? Who made this? Yeah, where did this bump music come Some from? Some moron. <laughs> Darn it, we I, think, lost the match. I think it uh, probably is worth mentioning. Uh, Sean Albrecht's, uh, you know, talents when it comes to mixing, sound editing, and singing. Well, uh, I, I get, I get a lot of, I get into a lot of trouble with royalties, so I got to keep be careful with stuff. <laughs> so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm already in, on legal, very shaky legal ground. Yes, well. and you did recently have all of your catalog pulled from Spotify, uh, <laughs> you know, because of all four songs. Yeah. Yeah, because of your conflicts with Joe Rogan, which has been well documented. <laughs> All right, 15 love here to start off Jay right Rowe. away. Oh, almost too much spin. That's on that the thing. first uh, serve that Noah has hit too thin. He's missed yeah. a couple long, but that was the oh. first one. I mean, for as much spin as he puts on the ball, uh -oh, we I've really screwed him, him up now. What's the Noah, Vegas can you hear here? me? Miss it, miss it over the net. Okay, that's a good, good play right there. Wow, great return. Okay, is that a quick? No, I was going to say a quick game. But so the non-traditional switch worked, by the way, the lefty-righty uh, combo to put the it seems the, to the, have the yes. weapons on the wings. Oh my oh God! Oh man! 
Okay. He's there! Oh, wow, what a shot from Jim to come up with that little flick. Right, and we settle back in. Kind mm -hmm. of. He's, he's going to blitz again. Oh, no. And it works. That is tough. We're just gonna, somebody was going to blitz, and somebody did. Kind of happy about that right there. Something is, smells fantastic, and I'm not just talking about cologne, because some of you guys are just no, naturally the, No, the food in the hut is killing me right yeah, now. I don't know what's over there, but it's... Uh, I don't know, but it's Delicious. amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, let's face it, any kind of food uh, works for me. If you take a look at me, and you pretty much figure that out. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm just saying. Look at that. The cloud of Man, getting, getting snow. breezy out there. I love it. These flurries just popping out. Good communication there. He <laughs> made it work. I was kidding, but they actually won the point out of it. That's yep. amazing. The joint overhead. And we don't mean that uh, cow the wrong way, just in case you were wondering there. Anytime you lost we, me. Anytime we use the word joint cow, it just perks right up. There. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> okay. Who, uh, who just won that point? Uh, I could not tell if the yep. call was in or out. Yeah. Noah, Sorry. Like Noah did, but I, I thought so as well, but. Oh, I think that one was in. Well, I would like to keep it in the in the court when I hit the ball to the, my opponents, so they can serve. Yes. So. Uh, so what are we thinking? Thirty forty here. Uh oh. Can't be now. That was my thought, was that it was 40-30, uh, it it so I guess we're going to call it deuce. deuce. Oh, boy. Well, I was way off. It's That's fine. That's all right. We're I, not, not even We're, we're not 100% on that yeah. one, but... It's, it's almost a tradition, Again, it's a part tradition of it on our, our yeah. live stream to be... Just, just couldn't, just couldn't quite see what that last right. call was. Not so really certain about the call. Nice topspin lob there. Oh, yeah. Great move. That uh, was a great move. That is tough. Eddie and the cruiser. All right, so I guess that uh, oh, oh, yeah, must have go. been game uh, there for life sport. So we are at one all. All right. Well, he took his cut kind of yeah. high in the strike zone. But yeah, maybe just a little bit late. But far be it for me, he's talented. But looking to, to attack. Time. Exactly. Up two quick points here. That's tough. Yeah. You get a quick hold after a, uh, a break like that. Uh-oh. Again, there we go. I just know how to jinx people. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You are just, I mean, you're the, you're the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's playing great. Oh, well, not now. <laughs> not anymore, he's not. It's good that volley. Makes it, that makes it seem like it would uh, not be fun to be your teammate. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. It's excellent to play with Sean. It's impossible to win two points in a row. Wow, great shot. Wow, great shot. <laughs> and that's where the longest deuce game of all time came from. <laughs> I, do, I, I do admit to uh, saying... I mean, I've said he's yep. in there. He's there. He's there. Great return. Some nice stupid pick. things during a match, and one of them was in a college match where uh, my partner had – he had a huge forehand. His topspin backhand was suspect. So he hit a topspin roll, and I said out loud, I've been waiting all season for a shot. <laughs> <laughs> like, which is the dumbest thing you could possibly say. So they just kept feeding him backhands after that. We lost that match. <laughs> so, we uh, lost that because match. Because of, you know, my idiocy. Waiting all season oh, for that. Just idea. wide. No, we're going All right, 30-40. Yep. I, th I think 30-40 yeah. here. No wood trying to knock on the door to climb back into this one. What's that story about the speech about how important the first point of the tiebreaker <laughs> is and then blowing it and then saying, we're going to lose? <laughs> Just long. Robbed by the let cord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh Noah's saying it caught him in the ear or something. Wow. Sportsmanship. That's right. <laughs> Give it to him. Uh, 
that's a smart call, though. We were going to go back in the replay and make sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that's impressive. I mean, I, you know, now you could say he's kind of in the paddle business a little bit, if you want to mention that. I don't know if we're even allowed to. But that's just uh, that's, that's, that's good sportsmanship, definitely, from, from Noah Seidenberg. Look at that flip. Yeah, good, good dig there out of the Again. screens. Two in a row. I know that's tough. You maybe consider keeping that ball on Noah oh. since he was doing spin He's moves. There. Yeah. It's easy to say. Oh, maybe. he dug it out. Oh, nice try. Wow. That is fantastic. Although it's mo 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 moments like that where I know why our camera in the corner is totally <laughs> off level. <laughs> yeah. You know, there was a moment there where it almost – Worked its you know, way back, <laughs> but shook itself back into back into level. That's always fun, um, and I don't just mean this physically, but I got hit in the back with uh, one of the lady serves during a uh, practice this week, and I swear to God, my back issue went away. <laughs> Isn't it? That's like I the thought for thing. sure this was going to be a story about how you're on workers' comp. No, 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 no. It's the other way around. I was actually feeling kind of stiff, you know, back there and. And I believe and it was like, oh, look at that. It popped it right back right in. Back. It was Julie Heck just hit me right back in. It. And I, and I was <laughs> That's like, fine. fixed my back issue. So oh, I, it's a tough lob. I know by me saying sit down on that shot probably is wishful thinking, but I'm just trying to spin everything positive with that because he had no shot at that coming in, but it's not the point. If only. Good volley. He's, that's impressive. He doesn't yeah, really even dig. get his pad paddle down, but he's so good at oh, nice roller. That was a smart roller right at him. And I was going to say Eddie, uh, he's really good on that back end side of some of the side back screens, but he waits and just flicks it, which is just I don't know how long he's been playing, but it's impressive. Oh, oh. nice hands there by Lance, and that brings us to Deuce. Deuce again. LC, Mr. Carlson, bringing him back to square. Lefty Magic, good leave. I yeah, think it was little just back. long. It was close. Yeah, little back just caught a little bit off his yeah, back foot. with the cold weather, and that topspin might have bit, but no. And then it was rising. That looked a little long, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. agree. Yep, yeah, that was. Yep, yeah, it was. Yeah, that was... Uh, it's close. No, he was in there. They're going to look at me, and I'm going to get blamed now. <laughs> Sean called it out. That's just <laughs> what you're supposed to do. <laughs> just how they would handle it if they weren't on camera. Look into the hut for any random person. You're asking Sean. Sean's blind. <laughs> Sean only has one eye. It's a great roller. Yep. Nice. Reset Arama. I like that speed so of I. the screen drive there to try to hands. make something happen. Did he oh, pick that up? Oh, what a dig the again. Emergency two hander from Lance Carlson. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll be here all week. Lance, that was impressive. Lance has really uh, come up with some of those little touch volleys back in those quick exchanges. Good call. Yep. There's some communication there. Might drop. No, just a little wide. That was really good pace into that corner. Kind of dropped, so to speak. Mm-hmm. So we got another add-in point here. Great volley mm -hmm. again. It's keying on that thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, skywalking. Luke! <laughs> oh, sorry, it's stupid. <laughs> Reach out with your feelings. Look at that. Good lob, that's the one. Yep. Tomahawk. He's there. Oh. Uh, good volley. Wow. Dug it out might there. Have fed it into a little bit of an offensive situation, but held his ground and came up with the volley. Good hands. All right. All right. Three one here, or one serving three, one I should say. Three. No 
somewhat in there. That's a really nice kick, sir. Mm -hmm. Kind of got in up in tight again there. Wow. Well, one, that was just a nice touch, no question about it. But two, again, colder. That ball's not coming up. He, it's going to die. 30 low. He's there. Nice pick. Wow, fancy. There is a great example. Way to hold it. Yes. Great example of what uh, Coach Noble was talking about. And I'm talking about John, not necessarily Cal, even though Cal is definitely a coach. Ouch. Uh, you <laughs> can say that can, with a little more confidence you there, can hit Sean. That, yeah, that's look, the best I, am I can teaching do. Teaching Exmoors it's youth, <laughs> the, finer, <laughs> the finer things of the tennis, the intricacies. How to throw your racket. Yeah. <laughs> there is an art form to that, yes. No question. But no, what I was going to say is... When to take water breaks. Exactly. Exa yeah. Who uh, won that game? That was Eddie. Life and, Sport. Yeah. Uh, Life Sport that took that one. So 3-2. Three two. Two. Yeah. What I was going to say is some of the drives you can hit way too hard, and that ball came off way back when, and Noah was able to field it without even moving. Two-handed backhand flick roll there from... Oh, Noah. they're switching it out. Yep, that, was a, that was really a slick sneaky, switch there. Sneaky yeah. switch there, yeah. James getting a little bit more confidence at the net here. Look at that, no way. It's good defensive block there. Now we're playing pickleball. Oh, Smart. that's a good move. That's tough. That's actually the first exchange there that uh, Lance hasn't come up with in a while, although it's he true. got trapped maybe a little farther off the net in that one. But he... Uh, go! Oh, wow. what a volley! That was impressive. Not yeah. an easy shot either. Feeling pr pretty good about uh, Ed's dink in front of him there, but he had the answer. You know, just to do a little uh, self-promotion here, this is the fifth or sixth time tonight that someone's come up here and used us to look at the score. <laughs> so I'm glad they have confidence <laughs> in us. <laughs> they shouldn't. Well, I don't know, Cal. you got to look at it this way. I, you know. A little deep. Looks like we're sitting at three... Oh. If you're the only pizza place in town, they're going to come and see you for a pizza. You know, I think George Orwell oh, wrote Domino's. a book about that. <laughs> That's not what I'm smelling. There's, what, I, there's I prefer Wayne's Pizza. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what Wayne's Pizza is. <laughs> there's good. a little place in downtown Arlington Heights called Wayne's Pizza. <laughs> and they just do, you know, thin crust pies and... And those well, salads that are fall. weird because they have, like, too much cheese and a giant pepper and a whole tomato. I don't understand. <laughs> I think I've been eating there my whole life. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. It does sound good. Of course, every time I hear the word Wayne. Tough serve. I'm, you know, transferred. I'm, I'm trans transferred back to, uh, I'm trying to think of the time, or transported, I should say, back to a time where uh, uh, the far side uh, Cartoons. Uh, but, uh, he oh, got there. oh, he got he it. He got away with it. Not, not to go uh, totally Harry Carey on you, because what I, what I mean by that is the broadcaster Harry Carey, not the act of Harry Carey. Um, but I'm hey, going. <laughs> I'm going to. We were going to get an, an impression. Hey, Sean. Uh, <laughs> do you love battle? <laughs> I know I do. My favorite is the. Uh, uh, what's my cue? Oh, it's, um, let's see. How's a Vizcano? Yeah. <laughs> $1.3 billion. Billion <laughs> dollars. <laughs> anyway. Um, Why don't you call this match 
while opening an icy cold Budweiser. <laughs> He's there. Oh, look at this. That no is a way. great little volley Again, good to go behind. No question. But anyway, far side uh, cartoons, one of my favorite of all time was, and I don't even know who Wayne was, but the uh, caption was, the world needed a scapegoat, and it chose Wayne. It chose Wayne. Wayne. Yep. <laughs> and Wayne is just this normal Absolutely dude. one of my favorites as well. <laughs> just people with pitchforks and torches. Exactly. And signs that say, <laughs> kill, kill Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> Wayne is a jerk. The world needed a scapegoat. <laughs> So when you say Wayne's Pizza, I'm just thinking. That's what you think of? Yeah. yeah I don't know why. That's fair. That's a nice kick, sir. That's tough. It's a well-fought game. Just didn't quite convert off the returns. No. Uh-oh. Rats. Just a little deep. You got to give him credit. He just stepped up and smacked that thing. I would have taken more time, but as as Coach Noble said, I probably you know need to be. Sometimes that just throws you off. Relaxing, yeah. Like I'm sitting here, it's a lot easier when I'm sitting here saying that. You know, a little uh, CPTC live trivia again. Uh, I think Eddie Trapp is the first person to be featured on the stream twice. Thus far. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what the other team was that he played for. Uh, I think he was with John Watros. Did he get this Okay, one? okay. He was. And Matt, I think, was the, the night Matt was not. Uh... No, you were there. You were there. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I remember that. And I was going to say, I feel like I. He was like Series I've... 28 at one yeah, point, and then and he you... got so much yeah. better. And he... I feel like I've only missed one stream. By the way, he's twice as good as he was then now. Yeah, he's improving I want quickly. To say, he's he's getting so much better. Unbelievable. Is that gonna work? Nope, that's gonna be a problem. He got oh it man, back. I can't believe <laughs> that ball didn't hit him. I thought for sure that ball was gonna hit him. Look at this. Nice hoop. dig again. This Houdini step. Yeah. Eddie's doing Cirque du Soleil over here. Great lob. He's doing ka. That's what's going on here. No way. Oh, okay. wow. It's called the Eddie Show. What the Haven't, heck is uh, happening? Haven't seen that backhand very it. often. You oh, did we finish it, it up? Wow. I we, I we must have been off by game. It must have been 5-2 uh, instead of 4-3. All right, well, entertaining match, great though. match. Great yes, match. Wave, they're waving. Everybody, you know everybody being nice. enjoy the live Wave stream. Matches. Absolutely. Jim and Lance are like, get me out of here. <laughs> All right, well, we're signing off. All right, everybody, thanks for joining Sean us. Sean Albrecht, Matt McClure, Cal Noble, and John Noble, and Mike Shabria, and Ben What's McKnight. Ben McKnight. Did I miss anybody? Brad Smith is Brad the host Smith. pro for yeah. helping us set up. That was pretty